Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. We've got Tanya here. We got me. And we're going to be playing some Jaguar games. Jaguar games. And not just the three that you saw on the title screen. We have a bonus fourth game. What? That is secret. Oh, and unannounced. I'm excited. And Ooh. nobody knows about it. Ooh. So you're glad you tuned in. Yeah, even though we started a teeny bit late today. Yeah, for all the people watching live and not the people on YouTube, yes. you don't care. No. Um, <laughs> we started a little bit late, yeah. let's say. Uh, but we'll get into why mm -hmm. in a bit once Got we start playing and stuff. Lots of gaming and playing to do. So, so much gaming and playing to yes. do. Yes. Um, but uh, so the games we're going to be playing today are Jumping at Shadows, nice. the new demo version. Demo version, That has okay. not been available yet, only at two gaming conventions. Oh. But not released to the public. Okay, that's um, exciting. We also have uh, Riv Raiding Rivers, which is nice. in the same thing. It has not been released to the public. Nice. So this is the first public showing of it. Is this a river raid? No, it's Raiding Rivers. Okay. There will be... Clone. <laughs> the rivers that will be raided. <laughs> okay, we're raiding no, rivers. No, it is. It's, gotcha. a, it's a port of River Raid. Port of River Raid. Um, okay. And we're also going to be going back to 2019 uh, when Impossible, a conversion from Atari ST, was released. Okay. Um, and the fourth game, which you will find out later if oh. you stay tuned. Oh. What the what? Um, <laughs> So, um, so yeah, four games today. But first, I want to thank all of the Twitch subscribers who help support the show and keep the cats meowing. Uh, Al Nefer, Andrea Atari, Arms Guard Coder, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari 874, Atari H, Beef Supreme, BR Poker, Buffalo Pinball, Chelsea Mount, Charles Wynn, Chitlala, Cubanism, Sierra Reboot, uh, Dan, ABC Drifting Snow, Dr. Moo, Kaz, Gamma Dev, Green Defender, Ground Drew, Barger Rapper, Johnny WC, Guido Kenzo, Carl G, Crockwood, 2600, Veltfer, Lambda Express, Mark Giannis, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, McMuse, Mike Sol, McTown, Mother 3, Mr. Jarm, Mr. Fix, Money Funster, Nathan Strum, Neo Media, Nostalgic 26, Hohog, Raymond CR70, Rendered Ghost, Apprentice VD, Robert Tooley, Ricardo Pim, Rodcaster, Smitty B, Spice Resp, Spinley, S Ramirez, D Train, Tiki Dan, K, Tifos, Truck, MD, VexRx, Vinja Game of Memories, VG Double Down, X, Ken X. And if you want to get your name on that list that's beside Tanya here, yep, right and keep here. the cats meowing, you can just hit subscribe. Or if you don't want to, you can um, just follow mm -hmm. on Twitch and you'll be oh, notified hi. when we um, do the show because today's Wednesday. Normally we do it on Tuesdays, yes. but we'll get into that as well. Why things are a little crazy around here, <laughs> yes. mostly because it's the end of the year and things yes. get crazy. Um, we do have a poll question going into the news here. Uh, if I can bring that up. Do it. There Yay. we go. Do you have a CRT in your house? Mm. First answer, yes. Old school gaming. <laughs> uh, two, no, but I'd like to get one. Or two, I don't need one. Upscalers. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So technically, I do, we do have two CRTs in the house. Mm. Um, they're uh, Commodore 1702 monitors, which are Just the two, I guess that's the true. best. Yes, well, yes, if yes. You're not getting into um, the professional grade uh, monitors. They're they're quite good. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go yes. Uh, don't know where I would yeah, put it. Yeah, that's that's They're, it's tough. nine inches do count. If it's CRT, it counts no okay. matter what it is. Even if it's one of those um, old school tiny black and white televisions oh, that yeah. fit under the counter in the yeah. kitchen. Oh, those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with a little tuner on them. <laughs> CRT is currently broken. It does count though. Yeah. Uh, you, you forgot the one. option of yes, I have a CRT, but choose not to use it. Oh. Yes, interesting. So you just have it sitting there in the corner as decoration. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tiny Sony. Yeah, nine inch is very tiny. Mm -hmm. um, so let's get to uh, the mail and news. We're going to do the mail first. This came in today. Ooh. Um, just in time. That's exciting. Um, so let's see what this is. What could this be? The air poke says he would stick one in a corner somewhere for light guns, but oh, doubt would yes. break it out otherwise. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. That's what I use mine for. And when we do the retro gaming night. <laughs> so this is all the way from Ukraine. Wow. Okay. Yes. Let's 
see what it is. And people in the know know what this is, <laughs> just by why it's from being from Ukraine. Mm -hmm. The only thing I've ever gotten from Ukraine was many things, but all from the same person. All from the same person. Okay, there's a oh, nice. One oh, box. it's a box. It's a brown another box. Another unlabeled box. Oh, another brown box. Very nice. Let's see what's in uh, the big box first. It's... Ooh. Crix, yes, it is Crix. Of course it's Crix. People in the know, no. Yes. Everdrive 64 Ooh, nice. X5. So I recently got some N64 systems okay. yes that's right more than one yeah unintentionally yeah <laughs> um and controllers from prge so i need never drive so uh there we are very nice, very nice. the uh, uh 64 what do they call it? everdrive 64 so now i can pop in uh an sd cart and sd card and like. play all the games nice. and this is the one that plays all the games Ooh. Ooh, analog duo yeah ivory tower mm, nice. fancy do we have the we have an analog but it's not the duo what's the we have duo? a pocket analog the analog duo is a remake of uh the turbo duo oh okay. which is the turbo okay. graphics so that's very nice that's system. nice yeah um i have equivalent in the old school version of it uh, okay. um and it's rgb modded and upscales so, so you I've, can use it i have the the best of the best for old school so i can use it if i <laughs> yeah. if i need to and i do have some homebrews for it uh we should play those one day yeah for sure um and i also have the extreme turbo version i can't remember what it's called that okay. had six games made for it oh, i don't have any games because they're really expensive oh, gotcha. and the next one is the everdrive gba <clears throat> nice. speaking of analog pockets this can work in the analog pocket and I can play GBA games on it. I didn't get the um, top nice. one um, because I didn't need all the features. So mm -hmm. I saved, you know, whatever money in that. So tiny little cartridge. It's so cute. Doesn't come out. Oh, there Don't break we it. go. Tiny oh, little it's clear. Cart. I love it. Oh, uh, yeah. Love I picked it. the clear one. I like the clear one. Very, ones. very cute. I always, I think it's because I had that old old school telephone that had all the colorful components oh, with a clear nice. exterior when i was clear a teenager telephone. i love yeah. that it was so cool good for uh nice looking at and good for prisons too oh well yes Remember that, uh, yeah episode? we saw that episode of tech moan tech moan where he uh looked, looked at, at the prison TV. prison tech. prison tech where it's all clear so they could see what you could hi be you hiding can't in it. hide anything and in the you components can't hang things out of it yeah, or, yeah. that was kind of neat actually uh, there isn't an EverDrive for the DS, but there are EverDrive-like things for the D uh, DS mm. and 3DS. So eventually I would like to get one of those, but yeah. I'm not in a rush. I've got a ton of DS. Oh, we have a we lot have of DS a games. ton of DS and 3DS games, yeah, but eventually they, I'll get they started dropping in price at one point. We were just picking yeah. stuff up all over the place. So. By an old school phone, you mean an iMac? No. No, <laughs> no, it's, it's an actual, like, like. Yeah, that is. R, R4. Phone. <laughs> That's what they're called. R4. Phone that plugs into a wall. Uh, we'll find a picture of one. They're pretty cool. Okay. So, uh, let's get to the news. And it's tree time. That. Oh, oh, before the news. Oh, these guys have been waiting patiently. Just as you have been waiting patiently. Yes. These cat kittens have been waiting patiently as well. Well, I wouldn't say patiently, but well, they've been waiting. Yeah, they don't wait patiently. There's not a lot of patience. They're very demanding cats. As you can hear the black kitten. Meh, 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 yeah. meh, yeah. meh. Thank you, meh. Carl G. Let's get the cats going. This is an over-under, remember? Over-under? How much will the cats win by? There are four choices. <laughs> Either one of them can win by one or two points. Oh, or oh, big cat. three plus points. And you can mm. pick which cat. So you've got about uh, two minutes to choose which yeah. cat you uh, think is hungrier today. Who's hungry for the win? Oh. Mm, let's see. Is it going to be Atari? who uh, is very strong bell ringer. Yes. But very slow eater. Mm -hmm. Or Sprite, it's a very fast eater, but gets distracted. 
Yes, that's uh, true. Sprite is uh, more of a sure bet, but but how by how much? You don't have it on the page yet. Oh yeah, I'll switch it over. So Just so you see. can see the um, there we go the spread. Oh, there we go. Atari one to two. I think we can bring it up here. There we go. So everybody's okay. Go Ooh, Atari. Lots. Ooh, people are feeling Atari today. Oh, I'm Getting big. behind Atari. Are you yeah. are you feeling it? He's he's very attentive right now. Yeah. So that could be a sign. But they're not going for Atari oh, three plus. It's bouncing out now, Sprite one to two. Yeah. 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 Atari three plus is a long shot. It is a long shot, but, but you if, never know. If enough people bet think? on it and you're not sure, you could throw ten on that. What and do you think, Kitty? Are you hungry for it? Are you hungry? Are you gonna win by three? <laughs> no, hmm? he. I don't think he's ever won by three. <laughs> ever. <Yeah>. <laughs> <clears throat> but <clears throat> he wins about a one out of ten. Mm -hmm. About one out of ten times. Yeah. Um, yeah. But between the three plus and the one to two on Sprite, that's that's the big one where it's like I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes. Hey, Catman Two D. Welcome everybody to the show. Okay. No, you have to pick one option. You can't pick multiple. No. Yeah, it's you one can't just go 10, 10, 10. Yeah. Because probably most people would do that. <laughs> well, not necessarily. Yeah. yeah. I think it's better. Hedge that, your bets. Exactly. Yeah. You gotta, think, gotta, gotta think it out. Feel it out. See the cats. You know, come in for a pet. See how they're doing. Yeah. yeah. Check in with the cats. Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? And the time is up. Sprite? Are you ready, cats? Yes, they both say oh, yes. Oh, yes. And go. And oh, Sprite's Sprite oh, for the lead. Oh, he hit it, hit it, hit the bell. Hit the bell, the actual bell. Oh, kitties. Let's yeah, see. move it closer there. There, there we, go. we go. Good kitty. Oh, did he bat it over yeah, there? Yeah, they all Silly look batting cats. it around the room. See? There we go. Not a strong ringer. He's a fast eater, but not a strong ringer, yeah. Sprite. <clears throat> There we go, and it's tied up, but Sprite has the lead in terms of time, and Sprite's up to three to two for Sprite. Interference <laughs> from the judges. Well, if he's like totally missing, it's yeah, not gonna, we need not gonna we need be, them to actually not gonna be very fun. There we go, three three oh four three. Oh wait, yep, four three now for Sprite. Five for Sprite now. Five for Sprite now. Oh my oh, god. Oh my goodness. Oh, Sprite is inhaling them. That's not good. Oh. oh, oh, ding, 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 ding. It's six, four for Sprite. <laughs> Come on, Sprite San. <laughs> I don't think Sprite needs encouraging. Seven, four. Oh, harder, harder. harder. Oh, hit, hit the bell, on. baby. Harder. Hit the bell. There Good we kitty. go. Seven, five brings him into the two, one to two category now. Oh, now he's into the three category. Eight to five, eight to six. Now he's within two points. Sprite is confused as usual. <laughs> he's Hit the bell. Are easily distracted. Oh, oh Atari! Oh my goodness, Atari's catching up now. Sprite's like, oh, I like treats. How do I get those treats again? I can't remember. Oh, the bell. That's oh. it. It's now game point. Oh, harder. Harder. Good. There we go. Good kitty. Nine to eight. It's now, behind you. Oh, he oh, lost no. it. Oh <laughs> no, Atari! He you lost silly it. cat. Sprite thinks there's Sprite's like an extra one. Sprite's very confused. One. Oh no, he's coming back. What's going on here? Oh, no, he missed. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, Sprite got that one. Within two points. There you go. I think most people did that bet. Oh, oh. my goodness. You huh. can hurt cats after all. <laughs> yeah, you can. Oh, you kitties. So there How we go. It? How was it? Good treat? So it's 10 to 8, final score. Let's see who. Sprite one to two. Sprite by whiskers. Yeah, he did. He did get it in there. He did get it. So the big winner today, <laughs> Sprite. Carl G. With he splits the pot of seven thousand four hundred and thirty wow. channel points with three other people. Very nice. Four so, voters. Yeah. So good job, Carl G. The big winner today. Mm. Oh, somebody threw ten on Atari. Uh, you 3 gotta plus. throw ten on Atari. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. Yeah. Get it all Good if you stuff. win it. So. Okay, so um, some uh, encouraging news, mm -hmm. let's say. So this was posted by uh, Ben from uh, Play On uh, yesterday. This video. Let's put on mute. So he's got 
Real Sports Boxing, a game that was not working before on the 2600 Plus, is yeah, now working cool, cool. with new firmware. And also, Circus Convoy, that was not working go. before, is now working on the 2600 Plus. Very cool. Now, this is beta firmware that has not been released yet. But it is, they're working on it. They're working on it, nice. and they're working on some more games as well. It's nice to see that that system will be working with. They're, yes. they're, they're trying to get it actively working yes. on all these and carts. So. Yeah, they haven't just left it to, to rot and like, oh, that's it. So yeah. they're actively working on it. And there is some more information. Let me see if I can find it. Um, I do have the link. <laughs> His prototype 2600 Plus looks a bit like Darth Vader. Yes, it's all oh, black. Didn't even notice. Yeah, that's cool. Um, now, where is his next one? Oh, okay. Um, and people are asking about other games. Uh, we aren't quite sure what's happening with these FE oddments, but people here on AA have been sending me carts. And the development developer has been working on them. As you can see with Real Sports Boxing and Circus Convoy booting in beta update. Nice. At the moment, he's working on Omega Race, which should resolve CBS RAM Plus carts. And then I think lastly, he will be receiving M Network games. Once that's done, I believe we only need to get Pitfall 2 to have a theoretical 100% compatibility with original carts. Nice. Which, of course, uh, making those compatible will also bring other uh, homebrew games more compatible because mm -hmm. homebrew games use the variety of different uh, bank switching techniques as well. So the more compatible they make it with the original carts, then the more better compatible off it'll be for the newer carts. ones too. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah. So that is uh, very promising. Mm -hmm. And hopefully they continue on working towards homebrew carts mm -hmm. because I don't know if they have as much vested interest in making the homebrew carts working. But we'll see how much they do get going. I mean, they own Atari Age, so I hope they they will keep, keep working, working on towards it, right? it. Yeah. 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 Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Um, another uh, compatibility update uh, with Stella DS. Now, this is uh, an for emulator DS, really? for the DS handheld cool. system. And he is now... Improve the ARM thumb driver and CDFJ driver to squeeze out more frames of performance. So with the release of ROMs for Turbo Arcade and Elevator Agent from Champ Games, I went back to the salt mines of trying to squeeze out additional performance out of the ARM thumb driver uh, for these latest offerings. It was mixed with uh, mixed, met with mixed results after 20 hours of effort. I was only uh, managed a couple additional frame performance, uh, uh, almost three on uh, elevator action. This isn't quite enough to render it both at full speed. Although Turbo Arcade is the larger of the two games, it turns that Elevator Agent is more hard hitting, blah, blah, blah. So uh, if you do have a DS, Nintendo DS, mm. um, it's, look at the layout. Oh my goodness. So you've got the 2600 on the bottom there. Oh, wow. And you've got the game on the top. Wow. Uh, which is cool because because you have all the controls yeah, that's for the cute. switches on the bottom. Wow, that's cute. Uh, it's really, really cool. And it's such a great uh, project and such a great platform mm -hmm. for the 2600, which is super, super compatible mm -hmm. um, with everything. And he's got a lot of the CDFJ games working at full 60 frames per second. That's excellent. Uh, and he's very concentrated on CDFJ games. So he only has Turbo Arcade and Elevator Agent that need to get a slight boost. And he has got them pretty much everything working with this, with this emulator. Um, so, yeah. And so if you want to follow along with that and you've got... Uh, a DS, no emulation of the save to cart chippy. How to load Stella on the DS R4? Uh, that's a good question. I have not loaded this. And it also works on DS, DSi, 2DS, 3DS, XL, and LL handhelds. Mm. Um, I think you get more or less um, speed out of them, depending on which of them, because some of them have a uh, better chip in them. Yeah, so... Uh, does anybody know how to get them working? I'm guessing it's one of those multi-carts um, to get them running. Probably. Like the R4, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Neat. 
Very neat. So uh, the poll. It's really cool. Uh, Ninety percent of people watching have a CRT, yeah, of course. which is really not surprising. <laughs> not surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, and 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 I would assume and if you were to the one person doesn't have it wants one. <laughs> yeah. I would assume uh, compared to the normal population that would invert completely. <laughs> yeah. If yeah. not, be a blow of a hundred percent. Yeah. Nobody, nobody has, has it. Yeah. Or they go. I think we have one in the basement. Yeah. Exactly. There's one in the yeah. garage that's been sitting there for twenty years. So. <laughs> Uh, okay, I think it's time to get to the games. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to give away what game we're playing fourth. Okay. So we're going to load the game off, the games off screen because they're all in the list. Oh my, okay. Um, That's pretty exciting then. Yep, there we go. So I will switch locally and then I okay. will switch remotely. You tell me. So the first one we're going to be playing is Jumping at Shadows. Aren't you showing it already? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's not do that. There you, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> so today's date, yep. Um, so Jumping at Shadows. Uh, this build is from uh, October 22nd, 2023. Uh, I can switch it now. Uh, it was shown at the EJAG Fest 2023 and PRGE 2023. This is the second demo that has been not released yet, but it will be released. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> oh, oh, there we better. go. Oh my hey! God! Love it. Come and get shadows. That's PRG awesome. twenty twenty three demo. <laughs> okay, so we'll let this go for a second. Okay. Uh, maybe go to twenty twenty four. You're living in the future. So this is uh, by Lawrence Staveley, Cyrano J for the code. I want to give a big, huge thanks, thank you to uh, Cyrano J for tonight's show. He has uh, arranged all the games that we're going to be playing tonight for us to play. Uh, he's been absolutely amazing in uh, being instrumental in making the Jaguar work with the show and uh, mm. being able to get all the games to us getting it working and yeah. my connection to the jaguar community it's been uh absolutely awesome oh what is oh it's the, the jukebox we can't hear it so. nice i like this i like this this is cool yeah I, I love that option oh this is very mono so i'm gonna just one second Cats are running around in the hallway. This might already be in mono, but I don't think it is. Oh, can people there hear the music? Just. What's the reason you're late? Uh, one, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know in a second. <laughs> Multiple reasons. Uh, oh, the mono issue is fixed. I only noticed it this week. Okay. Music is low. Okay, well, we, we can up the yeah. sound a little bit there. Shall I play? Um, Not yet, no. Yeah, yes. you can play now. There, should be good now. So you'll have to get uh, used to the buttons again. Oh, no, have you played this game? Uh, yes, but I've forgotten. I think there's instructionals in the game. I think you can go up through those platforms. You don't have to go around them. Yes, you can. My goodness, it's 2023 already? How time goes so quickly. But anyway, you can jump up to the next portal and you can play our demo. Oh yes, I guess it would have instructionals because people would be... Unfortunately, we didn't have time at PRG 2023 to play this. No. So... There's so much to do. There is was too much crazy. to do. Yeah. Um, uh, Ander Lex did the level design, art and art direction. Eric D 45 uh, sound engine. Ander Lex and Zaz D Art did the artwork. Roll Strauss did the amazing music. Mm. Nobody could hear it at PRG anyway. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So this is a four meg game. Um, uh, some of the features that were um, talked about last time we played it: a fluid 60 frames per second, reboot accepts no less, uh, full screen three layer parallax scrolling. So you can see the fog in the foreground. You see the spires in the background and other platforms. 
Um, Cry, CRY lighting and transparency effects. Storyline by Andrew Rosa and lots and lots of animation. Go through that portal at the top. I didn't want to do anything last time. Ah. Or maybe I didn't go all the way through. Oh, you have to hit. There we go. There you go. Press C or A in the portal, the purple one. There you go. Flickery lights. Nice. Yeah, those are things you have to collect, I believe. Okay. Uh, so let's catch up on what's uh, been announced for this. Uh, a Gre I don't know how to say his name. I should figure it out. A Gradinu. A Gradinu. Hi fans, some news on the game. I will visit EJAG Fest on Sunday, 22nd of October to join fellow devs Lord Kraken, Ninjaba, and Fadist. Janu uh, Jaguar fans in Germany or everyone, anyone else who's interested can play an all new demo of the game we, Reboot, have prepared with some interesting new features. It's not announced on the official page of EJAG Fest yet, so I decided to inform you now. Cheers. And Cyrano J on October 14th said, A reminder that you can play Jumping at Shadows at the Atari Age stand at PRG this weekend. If you'd like to play it on Big P, Skunkboard, and Jaguar GD, the PRG 2023 demo will be available on my Patreon shortly after the show ends. And then Cyrano J on October 15th said, Jumping at Shadows PRG 2023 demo is now available for Patreon supporters to download. So, um, yes, Reboot has a Patreon, if people didn't know, where you can get early. Oh, that's a new, new guy. Oh. Oh, what? Did he disappear from you? Did you hit him? I think he kind of jumped How on his head. How do I get up here? Triple jump. Jump, jump, jump. Nope. What is going on? Remember, don't press the button too quick when you jump. Press it at the height of your jump. Why is it? Flickering. What is going on? I don't know how to get Cyrano up there. Cyrano says boost jump up. Yep. Boost? I swear you did three triple jumps before. No. No, I had to hit a wall. Oh, maybe you have to jump, jump, and hit a wall. Oh. Because there is a wall up there. You can only hit the wall twice. You can kind of jump, jump, boost. So there's a wall up there. Oh. <laughs> I just walked into the room. You could have told me this was for the ah. Nintendo Switch. Yeah, no kidding. Nope. Just absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Use the boost, the blue halo. Oh. Oh, there. Oh, there did I die? Go. Yep. <laughs> Hit the bottom of it. So this yeah, game and the next game we'll be playing um, are available for the Patreon. Shopping boost. Uh, for for page patrons <laughs> of the Patreon, um, but I don't know when they will be publicly released. Um, Cyrano is in the chat, the developer. So if you want, if he. Um, wants to fill in when and if these will be released for the public to try out. Carl G says, I really keep hoping that a viable JAG new hardware options eventually happens. I haven't heard anything about any Jaguar options for hardware. Really, it's Jaguar and emulation, like real Jaguars. Uh, maybe Atari will step up to the plate. It's kind of hard. Ah, jump on his head a bunch of times. This demo probably won't be. It's a Patreon exclusive, but Raiding Rivers, I'm planning for a public release on December 25th. So this will be a, uh, the next game will be a Christmas present for everyone. So dark. dark I know. <laughs> Lots of thunder and lightning going on. There are spikes on the top of that. Oh. So don't have to make it to the next platform and the next platform. And avoid it. Oh, oh, bad weather. Yeah, would do you think Atari would release something for the Jaguar? I think at most they would release something that did Jaguar and something else, like added it. Or maybe on the Atari VCS, they would add Jaguar support. 
Um, does anybody know if that hardware on the Atari VCS 800 would support, would have enough power to do Jaguar? Uh, place a bomb to destroy the crate. Number pad three. Ah. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't have all my notes from last time. Run! Run! Whew. Yeah, Cyrano will have to help us. Just in time for Santa. That's right, Xbox Alive. Ah! Oh, oh no. didn't know where I was going. Oh, there is checkpoints. Game Composer. I know someone that works at Atari. We have done often, so I could ask them. And Atari's actually quite active in uh, the Atari Age forums. Oh, oh too, too early. soon. Um, and I know they've seen people ask about... Um... Thank you so much. The Jaguar before. Left. Yeah. I can't um, see anything. Yeah, it's really dark. Uh, you have to look for the lightning flashes. Look in between them. Oh, and you have dinner often. Oh, nice. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Okay, why we were late today. Oh. Okay. You notice no. <laughs> You notice it's a Wednesday. Well, Tanya's not late. She's fine. Um, it's a Wednesday instead of a Tuesday today, which is unusual for the show. So originally this was uh, today or yesterday was scheduled for John Shampoo's show. And we're going to play some Champ Games uh, new releases on the show. Elevator Action and uh, Turbo Arcade. Um, so that, so he was shipping me the games and they didn't arrive in time because of tight schedule. And so they arrived today, so it would have been late for Tuesday, and it would have been rushed for today, and I didn't even know if they were going to arrive today. So yesterday I swapped out the shows. This show was going to be on Friday. So I moved this, uh, this show to Wednesday, and I had forgotten... Oh no. I think you're still... Yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah. And I'd forgot my haircut appointment was today. And my haircut was at 5 o'clock. And the show starts at 6. So it was... Is it's an, a pit I can't get out of? We gotta use your boost. That's a bounce spot. I can't get on him though. No, I think you're in the wrong spot. I'm, I'm in a pit. Can I get out of the pit? I'm stuck? Can you do one jump and then a boost? Can I explode something? Oh, maybe try and explode to the right? Not there. There, yeah. Probably kill me. Jump, jump, jump. Oh, mm. nothing. Oh, that was higher than you've been before. Oh. Oh my god. You have angered the graphics gods. You should be able there to boost go. jump out. Yeah, I can't. Oh. I, you can't be too close to the wall. Oh, because you catch on it. There, oh, my goodness. Left. I am. Just keep pressing left. Mm. Uh, that's it. There we go. Woof. So that thing is flashing. It is oh, flashing. Oh, you have to time it. <gasps> Ooh, not much time to get across. Well, no, you have a bit of time. Yeah. Run. Okay, good. So there's one there. Oh, the ledge. Oh, I bet you have to go down to the bounce spot and it bounces you really high up to the next level up there. It's very hard to see. Boost? No. Oh, no. Oh, right. oh. oh, what was that? Were you holding down? Ah. No. Uh, maybe you just go back to that ledge on the left. Maybe that's just in case you fall in the pit. 
Yeah, I think you go to the right and then jump, do a boost up to the next level on to the left. Oh, no, there's... Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's so dark. Really dark. Yeah, he's angry. Can I kill him? Maybe not. Oh, uh, maybe it just disables him. Yeah, it just disables him. Oh, you're falling. That's okay. Ah, nope. There are IR goggles, but not in this level. So you have to disable him and get past him. There is something down there. Below him. Yeah, so. but I don't know how to get up that side. Oh, no, you drop down. I think you can drop down. Can you drop through things? Yeah. I think it's... Uh, jump? I have more than a, more than ten oh, here. Oh, okay. I can't see anything. <laughs> the light's in my eye. I don't think that helps. Oh, no, 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 right back to the beginning. No. Well, there's nothing I can do. I can't see it, so. Ah, back here again. Oh. You could do a virtual Oh, the port. portal is open. Do I go back to the beginning then? Maybe the portal was up there. I don't see it. There's something up there. Oh, there is. Yeah. Oh, I can see the portal. I think you get to it on the right, left-hand side. There's a ledge up at the top right. Oh, 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 good. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Dark Land is over. Don't get Shadows <laughs> PRG 2023 demo. Nice. Oh! Is, is that the demo? Yay! Yay! It looks fantastic. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous and awesome music as well. Um, wow. It's it's an astounding game. This is going to sell very well. Oh, it's so good. It looks so good. It plays yeah. so well. Yeah. Yeah. It's very cool. Um, is this is this the newest? Like the next game after Gravitic Mines, or was there another reboot game in between? Mm. I can't remember. Yeah, this is really, really, really cool game. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> what happened? Just fell. Oh, <laughs> that's all. Freaking me out. Oh, it just fell. Tossing controllers. You have to apologize to uh, Double Down. <laughs> Sorry, Double Down. For, for throwing his controller. controller on the ground. It just slid off the off the pillow. Mm. Trust you. <laughs> okay. Next they're meant, game. They're meant for a bit of abuse. <laughs> no, this is no the next one. That's what I thought. Don't forget to adjust left or right balance. Oh, thank you. So we'll go back to stereo now mm -hmm. on the games. If you can load up the next game, actually. Uh, Rating rivers. Don't do it yet because this is an exclusive world premiere. Exclusive. Ah, okay. Uh, yep, <laughs> load up uh, Raiding Rivers. Excellent, bring it on. Hey. Psst, psst. There we go. Come here. Let's change the cartridges Come. out. Come, Sprite. Spritey pants. Come here. Up, up, up. Oh, it's very loud. Every game has different volume. Now it's in stereo again. Nice. So everybody can recognize this game probably. This is by Lawrence Stavely, Cyrano J. This builds from today. <gasps> First yeah. posted about in the Atari Age Forums, November 29th, 2023. Created with the intention of fun making a game quickly using Raptor API. Not intended to push barriers or melt the hardware. Keep an open mind and something. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I think you can go for it. Everybody knows what this game is about, and I'll read all about it. So, it's got a graphical upgrade. Oh, it oh I hit the side. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah. Ah! Oh, that moves fast. Don't push forward. 
Oh, wow. Oh, the acceleration is a little much. <laughs> yeah, it's fast. Oh, my goodness. Those are the fuel. Oh, oh I hit the Oh, man. So, Cyrano said, announcing Raiding Rivers. Uh, work in progress builds are available to my Patreon supporters. The latest version was posted today just a few minutes ago. This was uh, November 29th post. Developed as the winner of What Game to Make Poll, voted by Patreon supporters. So if you're a Patreon supporter, you get to decide what games that you get to see made next on... Oh, my goodness. Why are you accelerating? So I'm fast? not trying to accelerate at all. <laughs> you can slow down, too, after you accelerate. No, you can't. Yeah, you can. Not I that I can it. tell. Oh, my goodness. I played it. You can you can decelerate. Use only acceleration, only in emergencies. Oh, my there goodness. There you go. Uh, I hope to make further polls in the future make more mini games. It's now feature complete and playable. Still requires, requires some cleaning up. New art, music, options, scores, lives. Further work in progress builds followed by a final build will be available to Patreon supporters. Don't want to support reboot games on Patreon? Not a problem. I have you covered it well. Uh, you'll be able to play the final build around two weeks after it's posted to the Patreon members. So the final build was posted just recently. This is the final build of the game. Um... So this, uh, like in the chat, um, Lauren said this will be available on December 25th Nice uh, for everyone <gasps> to enjoy. Shooting the fuel. I noticed in this version, I think fuel goes down quite a bit quicker. Oh, it does so really you fast. really got to concentrate on the fuel and it doesn't give you as much fuel as the original game, which makes it a much more challenging in terms of fuel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I love the color shifts too. Uh, Mind Threat said he liked the, the color shifts. I like the balloons a lot. They yeah, really good. very colorful. And I think after this level, or the level after, it's a um, snow level. Snow? Oh, this is like the fall. It's all yellow. All the grass has gone yellow. Or leaves on the ground. It's that joystick. Yeah, you broke the joystick. That's why the accelerator's so going Kaboom! crazy. Kaboom! Yeah. Now it's, now it's winter. It's a nice touch. Tanks on the side, ready to shoot you. Machine GEX says, new build looks great. I'm guessing you're a Patreon supporter. Or you've been looking at uh, screenshots of our videos. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, you're just hovering at around half, half fuel. Fuel is fuel management is big in this version. Ooh, it is all about the fuel management. You can bend the shots as well. Ooh. Oh, okay. So they follow. No, don't do that. Along with you. Oh gosh. So if you shoot and move, it'll move. Oh, I'm not trying to go fast. Well, don't press it. I'm not trying to <laughs> push up. It's sometimes accidental. Tanya oh, needs four-way joystick. Oh, I died. I ran out of fuel. Your turn. My turn. Very cool. Very so, cool. code by Lawrence, music by R. Strauss, DSP, like Eric it. D, sprites by Ander Lex. Oh, so fast. <laughs> <laughs> For all Jaguar fans. Mm -hmm. Let's see how I can do it. Like the reboot games at the bottom there. Yes. With the rainbow. Very nice homage. Nice font. Very nice. To the Activision rainbow. Yep. And this is a huge, like, people love, love River Raid. Yeah, it's a good game. I see this posted more than most games River Raid? on, on River Facebook. Raid? People yeah. asking about it. For some reason, they always, it's mostly people in PAL regions. Mm. And they're playing NTSC version of River Raid, which makes the colors nuts. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. But that's what I see all the time, this crazy so color funny. version of River Raid from people in South America. Yeah, but, it moves but people fast. just love this. Fast, so fast. And one of the few games made by a woman. This one? For... And and is it Centipede? Yes. Yes. Um the original game was. The original. I don't know about the the conversion mm. um, to the Atari, but the original arcade game was. Yeah, it was quite a boys' club. Uh, back in I, the I 70s, 80s. I might argue it's a boys still, club still in many still quite a bit. <laughs> developer circles. Yeah. 
even though there's more women playing games yeah, uh, definitely. than there are men. Yeah. Um, well, it depends on the game. Depends on your, uh, your the, genre. The, the genre yeah. of games. Yeah, of course, different games will attract different um, types of people. Legally, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We're just talking crap. We have no idea either. <laughs> We're talking about completely different... Did I hit? You hit a wall. That's a big hitbox, Lawrence. <laughs> I was. Yeah, you have to be careful. You really I'm have used to, to steer pixel, clear of the walls. I'm used to pixel perfect games. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm going to stay away from I it. had no problem. Oh, that oh, was my see, fault. You went no, right that was my it. fault. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take full You'll responsibility. You'll take the hit for that? Oh, and it shows what level you're on too. Like what raid you're on. Oh, where? Where? On top raid right. seven. Nice. So that's nice. So you can actually keep track of what um, level you've been to, not just by the score. So you have wrapped around. So I guess there's seven or four. four like spring, summer, fall, and winter. Fuel. Must have fuel. I'll go this way. Looks a little bit easier. Because in, the, in uh, the 2600 of River Raid, you could just slow right down and go over the fuel and get pretty much full fuel off of two. Um, and by default in the 2600 version, you're going at a medium speed and you have to pull back for slow. This one, you can maintain whatever speed you want. So you can pick slow all the time or medium all the time. Yeah, and just not not accelerate. So, so if you're more advanced and you want to just whip through the game, you can go at medium or insane speed, mm -hmm. which is is very quick. Mm -hmm. If you want to get your high score, rush and attack. High score quicker. <laughs> yeah. Rush and attack. Rush and attack. Oh, okay. Because there's an actual game called Rush in Attack. Atta <laughs> yeah. It's a play on words as well. It's, it's a Russian attack's an okay game. It wasn't great on the C64. I find it very hard. Ah. One, eight, six, six, Spam! Six. <laughs> uh, score multiplier for speed, though. Oh. Mm. Good. And Cyrano says, no. I'll be doing another poll. What to make next year? I really love making simple games. Oh, that's great. And, um, and they're great for, <laughs> for showing off. Oh my god, you're just going for it. Are you doing that on purpose? Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, uh, There's no chance. I just, it's fun. You have to kind of memorize. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, this movement left and right doesn't speed up. So as you're going fast, you're still horizontally the same. No, slow down. <laughs> the same speed. So you really, you actually can't play this at full speed. It's impossible. My turn. One more for me. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, you can learn this. It's seed generated, just like the other thing you mentioned I have never heard of. <laughs> <laughs> so you can memorize patterns mm -hmm. and I <laughs> guess prepare for them. Um, At our last retro gaming night, I played a little bit of um, Battletoads. Oh, yeah. And I passed the speeder level. Nice. And Good I felt job. like that was a win for the night. So that oh, was all I needed to do. Is. I was like, I like, got done. past it. And I can't remember what comes next. Okay, we're done. Uh, so, speaking uh, of memorizing patterns. Does... What was I going to say? Does the fuel go down faster if you go faster? Or is I, it just You get constant through more. Fuel? I think... Okay, move fast. Okay, slow okay. down. Same speed. Okay, so going faster is actually... You actually get further through. Advent... Yeah, fuel is constant, says Cyrano. Oh, I knew I was going to crash into those. Fuel is constant. Okay. So that's why you'd want to go fast. If only that was true in real life, then my but, speeding on the highway <laughs> would cost right. the same amount of fuel as driving, you know... Up to a point, 40 kilometers you get an hour. better... 
there, well, yeah. I mean, you can nitpick the mileage. And then you get too but, fast, and then the mileage is worse. Well, trying oh, to maintain no. a high speed get out of that. requires constant pow power. I don't know what you would call that, but oh. you definitely burn way more fuel to maintain <gasps> those high speeds. The bullet went right through me. Um, I do notice the the fuel is shifting vertically a little bit sometimes. Adjusting the uh, yeah. in the top there. You don't see it too often, but. No, not that. The actual fuel that you collect. Oh, yes. Kind of goes bleep. Sorry, those, yeah, the stripey uh, fuel pads Once or whatever. Once in a while. Whatever. Yeah, I've noticed that when they're close to the bottom, on the left, oh, I've noticed on the left. a couple okay. of them adjust slightly. It's giving Cyrano more work to do. <laughs> but I'm sure he... More work. Oh, there's... Let's watch them. Nope. No. I don't know when it shifts, There are a couple does. in a certain position that, that we're doing yeah. that. Right at the start of the game. Yeah, they don't seem to be doing it anymore. But also, if you're going fast over the fuel, you don't get as much fuel. So you really do want to slow Oof. down for the fuel. Yeah. Throw in an FMV from Night Trap when you crash. <laughs> Have the baddies in black hauling Dana away. I oh, don't get the perfect. reference at all. But anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, Night Trap is a full motion video game. Oh, I think I've heard of that. Okay. It's cheesy and yeah. silly. Has Dana Plato in it? Dana Plato. So that's the reference to Dana. Gotcha. So you could incorporate her somehow into this game using footage. I don't know. Funny. <laughs> it's a notoriously cheesy game. I think I've. I think I may have seen clips of it. Yeah. I've certainly never played it, but yeah. It was, and it's Dana notorious Plato. for being used in a court case. Oh. Um, for violent video games. Yeah, yeah, When, yeah, in yeah. fact, it's it's actually kind of ridicule because it's not a violent game. It's it's an example of a non-violent game. Mm -hmm. It's a bunch of bumbling thieves that kind of... I can't remember the plot of the oh, game. Okay. I've never actually played it. Um, but there's, like, no... There's no blood in it or anything. But I think it's quite they sanitized just sanitized in a way. It's like yeah. all implied violence, or yeah, yeah. Um, many pearls were clutched, says it. Oh, <laughs> so many pearls. Uh, but I think uh, they brought it in because there was a bunch of you know young women in sc scantily clad in the course. game. Of course. Oh, of course. But it was all about sex and violence, and this one mm. looked violent, but it actually wasn't. They called it oh, adult themed and did gruesome. Did I finish? Did I no, die? No, you died. You. I thought I. Your fuel went to E. Oh! <laughs> Barrel uh, right down. You made yeah. it to raid 17, though, oh, it looks that's like. that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, good conversion. Oh, yeah. Um, Plays really well. Nice upgraded graphics. Think um, of the children. Think of the children. <laughs> My pearls. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, this will be released um, December 25th. Nice. It's a nice port of an unknown game. We have no idea what it could be a port of, but, uh, yep. <laughs> So, Don't know. Some game. Yeah, some, some game. So keep on the lookout on December 25th. You wake up early morning. Yay, December um, 25th. And also, it might be before December 25th in some areas because oh. Cyrano is in Australia. He lives in the ah, future. future. So when Santa comes late, 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 December 24th, <laughs> yes, you might you get go. an early present because go. of Australia. <laughs> okay, so on to game number three. Um, but before that, we're going to um, look at where this game came from, because it is a port. It's impossible. This was put out in 2019. Don't start it yet. Nope. Um, and impossible is from uh, 1990. And it was designed for the Amiga, Atari ST, Commodore 64, Amstrad CPC, and ZX Spectrum. So let's just take a look at the version for... Now what version do I have here? don't remember which version. I think it might be the Atari ST version that I... Oh, no. Now nah, we're not going to look at the video. No. No, no, no. Okay, so start it up. You can't see. Now you can. There we go. Switch the cartridge. There we go. 
Okay. Let me read about it. Uh, Possimole is a platform game developed by Core Design. Sorry about your ears. Audio. The game is... Uh, oh, and also TurboGrafx-16. It is the sixth and final game in the Monty Mole series, which has... Some of the games have really good music. Mm. Jaguar Port by L. Stavely. Excellent. The master of porting games to the Jaguar. <laughs> this guy kind of got a piggy face. They do have piggy faces, don't they, moles? They have like they piggy do, moles. Actually. They, they have, have a slight piggy, mo yeah. piggy nose. You gotta beat Andy. Andy. With oh, 10,000 points. This has good music. Um, it features a cape-clad superhero, Monty Mole, who's recruited by aliens to retrieve their sacred scrolls. <laughs> As in Rick Dangerous 2, the first four levels may be played in any order. Completing these four levels, the Orient okay. Klondike Mines, Ice and Amazon Forest unlocks the fifth and final level. So, jump into it. So there's the Klondike Mines, Orient, Amazon, Iceland, and the Forbidden Bermuda Triangle. Okay, glad first is. is first. Andy's going down. Andy is going down. That's <laughs> Rob Hubbard. Oh yeah, Rob Hubbard, master of music. Oh, you got a. Oh. I guess Kay. use that sparingly. I think you've got one left. Oh, and jump. Oh, you got that too. So you've got a kick, and you've got a bomb. Oh. And you have unlimited bombs. It looks like. What? What's the kick? How did I do the kick before? I don't know. Uh -huh. Well, the bomb's good. And you can fly sh short distances. How did I kick? Distances. Now I'm confused. I don't know. How did you do the kick? There you go. Oh, you move. Ah. I would bomb that back. Or oh. jump on him and get hurt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no! To the... Oh, my goodness. The player progresses horizontally as well. <laughs> this is not going well. What are you doing? Standing over the bat. I'm trying to kill bomb it. Bomb him. No, kicking him is going to be... I'm not trying to kick him. That was the bomb before. Why is it not bombing now? Did mm. I run out of bombs? You're too weak to throw bombs. What is going on? <laughs> okay, I have to figure out the difference between the kick and the bomb. Player progresses horizontally as well as climbing up ladders. Ladders. Monty Mole is equipped with weapons and is able to do a flying kick to defend himself Kay. against enemy creatures lurking about. Let's try this again. Andy looks like he's reforming like T2. I believe Core did the Chuck Rock games. Oh. Whack-a-mole. <laughs> yeah, let's try this again. Jump. There was a good whack-a-mole game on the 2600 used the, um, the keypads. That was dangerous to you. Lost two health. I would stick to the bombs. No, I. I don't understand. No. It's jumping random? kick. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. The kicking versus the bombs. The well-known core design game kick a bat. <laughs> yeah, they they briefly dabbled in in uh, saying that. See this now I'm game... kicking. Maybe because there's something above you. No. Maybe you can switch. Oh, no, that's no good. What, what's going on? No, well, that killed Don't it. Don't use that. Yeah, well, Waste. Stuff. You ran out of bombs. Okay, so... Oh, jeez. So it prefers bombs first. Now you can <sighs> kick. No! I would just jump over that guy. Oh You're losing God. health like crazy. I don't know how! You're too close to him. I know. <laughs> There's a manual in the box. Yeah, uh, where's the box? Oh, I don't have the box. <laughs> gonna have to do it old school. Ugh. Do I kick this guy? What's going on? He looks like he might be helpful. I bet he is. Nope. My turn. You try. <laughs> There's a manual in the box. Kick it bad. You get, I think you get the bombs. Oh, this takes quite a while to go through. Um, you get the bombs okay. uh, behind the pole 
That's uh, why they suddenly appear because you, you pick them up. Oh, I also want to say a huge thank you to Eli Galindo mm-hmm. from Pico, Pico Interactive, uh, <laughs> for sending Impossible over us to us to play on the stream. And uh, we'll also be featuring some of his other games uh, that were released under the Pico Inter. Mm. Active label, nice. uh, custodian, head over heels, switchblade, and switchblade two. Yeah, moles take their time too. Mm-hmm. You know, they take their time to get there. Is that a ta- Tanya's reaction to seeing old people? Do, do I, I kick this do guy? Do I kick this guy? <laughs> yes, kick the old people. See, so you got you picked it up there. Uh, and then you're forced to use bombs. Yeah, you can't kick. You, you use the bombs until you run out of them. That's interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Oh, maybe you can't kill him. Not easy. Oh. Just gotta get past him. So you can't, you have to just get past that guy. Oh my god. See? He's, he's making fun of me for having trouble. Do you have any more bombs? No, you can't kill that thing. I'm gonna go under him. You have to. Or over him. Oh, ah, my brethren. No, don't attack me. Oh, he's a rat. Will the rat come down here? Oh, the bat will. God, this game. It's hard. It's not ah. easy. Get out of there. It's not easy. Oh, this looks bad. I think I need to be above this. Yes. Oh, there's no way. Can I fly to the next one? Stop it. No, you need just a four-way fall. joystick. Oh, you can. It doesn't appear to be hurting you. Oh, something's shooting at you. Um, oh, it's a bat. Oh, oh, there is things there. Okay. Oh my god. Everything kills you. Don't hit anything. No, it's the joystick. I need a four way joystick for yeah, this game. Yeah, I know. It is hard. This game's really hard. <laughs> it is really hard. <laughs> it's 90s hard. It is. Exactly. R.I.P. Monty. Maybe we won't be beating. Uh... Invisible? Impossible. Oh no, it's two of them. Moles on meth. <laughs> Moles on meth. Said PH. Mm. No, too many H's. Oh, sensitive. So, did I finish my story? Yes. Um, yeah, so I got a haircut today, and, oh, yeah. and now it, that's why I was late. So, uh,. <laughs> Still trying to figure out the time for Friday's show. Yeah. But it might be with Tanya at six. I don't know yet. You're working it Might that out. be with Darcy? Darcy. Possibly. Oh, okay, crap. Might be with Darcy, because Erlen's not available. So scheduling has been uh interesting. Because I'm gonna jump over this guy. Oh my god, it is pixel perfect. Hard, hard, hard. I think I'm gonna trigger that. No! Oh, get out of there! No! Use use the C button and just kill everything. No, no, no. Come on, that's why it's there. See, you just keep hitbox is too big. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. He didn't. He hit he you. Didn't no, he, he did not. He no. so hit you. I oh. pressed up. Oh, this game is brutal. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, bat. You fly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up. I have to do one of those. Like yeah, jump, jump, up, jump, up, And then go to the right. Because if I try and go yeah. to the right, it just walks to the right. Oh, Andy yep. is winning. <laughs> Andy so is Xbox, winning. Xbox Live. That's what made you play the same levels for a week to pass them back in the day. Yep. Oh, ooh, what is this? Bazooka. Nice bazooka. Can you go down there? No, die, old timer. Oh my god. He's a hearty old man. Oh, you can go through the rock. Oh my god. I bet I have to go. Oh. Um. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. And dead. Did you die, Doc? Oh, I didn't, but I will in a, like one <gasps> second. There. Oh my god, this game <laughs> is so oh, hard. Andy is winning. We have reached the blame the controller segment. Yes, <laughs> we have reached that, that, that part of the of this stream. Controllers don't talk back. <laughs> they can't defend themselves. Therefore, they're perfect to blame. Yeah, and cats. I made it further, though. 
than last time. Come here. He's like, nope. Do you have treats? No, I'm not coming. I'll give you that. treats. I just want to call I you. don't see any treats. <laughs> He's like, absolutely not. Oh, we're going to try this level one more time, and then we'll do what? one run through of the other ones, I <laughs> check think. Checkpoints? Check, what Everyone's are checkpoints? Everyone's laughing. <laughs> I don't think there are any checkpoints. Hi, are you gonna come? Oh, hi, I want a cat, thank you. Thank you. Are you here to make fun of James too? Yeah. Oh, I think I should go under this guy. Oh, just kidding, just kidding. Come here, come here, come say hi. Say hello, say hello. Oh, no, no, stay, stay please. Do that. No, no. No, torturing the cat. What? I'm so sorry. What? You got hurt? He was nowhere near me. Punch a bowl. Oh, oh. You can go down there. Oh, there we go. That makes sense. Much better. Oh, you have to jump over. Oh, no. No. Jump over that guy. Jump over the ratty. He's a big rat. Holy smokes. He's like a, the size of the mole. Yep. Oh. Uh. Doing marginally better. What was that? I, like a walking stick of dynamite? Him. Go down? Yeah. Oh, I have to trigger that guy first. Do you? Was that the guy? No, no, it wasn't the guy. No. I don't know what that was. I didn't see him last time. You can go down there. No? Or... Oh, there's a bat there. Oh, okay. Kill the bat. reserve my weapons for something else. Okay. There we go. Just gotcha. Uh, what? When you lost your uh, bazooka. Oh, I just have a kicker now. Oh, yes. My big hitbox. Is good. Is good for that. Yeah. Not good for anything else. What is that in there? Is that worms? Maybe. Can you eat, eat them? Oh, oh, it's health. Oh, so the, you didn't get worms. the worms last time in the other oh. screen. You should have gotten the worms. Makes sense. Cyrano's finished this? There are checkpoints. You're just not mole enough. <laughs> I am not mole enough. Come on, jump. <gasps> Ooh. Is that a checkpoint? It's just points. There's, okay, there's no points. <laughs> uh, can I jump? Up. Can huh? I float over there? Oh, I can. Oh, Good. got another bomb. Is that a bomb or is that a health? That uh, was whatever that is know, up there. Went from one to two. That's yeah. the big one. Okay, we're gonna is. fall down the right because the left is. You know, is this one of those things where I have to? Oh. Oh, good job. That was, oh no, those aren't the super bombs. What are those? I don't know. Lives? Are they lives? Ooh, is that a thing Hi. that'll take me across? Yeah, I bet it. I bet it sinks. <gasps> what did I say? <laughs> I bet it sinks. I know my games. Ah, ah. Oh. Oh, that's good to know. Oh God. <laughs> okay, why would I want to go up there for those rocks? Are those? Good to get. Yeah. Oh, I don't have any more. I just have kicker. Okay. You no, know, you can't get him. Those things take forever. No. They're, well. they're like almost impossible to kill. I felt that. <gasps> oh, what? Yeah. I kicked a rock. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's something. I don't know what it was. Oh, another rock. There. Oh, I can climb up here. It's so unobvious. What you can do and what you can't do. <laughs> and I can't get over there. Why I climb you? right to the top. You have to jump. Well, you can't. Up is jump. And, you can't, and I'm pressing. Oh, I see. And I push over and eat. I bet you have to go around or something. Uh, okay. What? Well, that's the thing that I that came on the screen. Oh, last time. Something in a hat. What, what do I do here? I can't get past that. You have to go to the top. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It was 2019. Things were happening, stuff was done, words were said. I can't remember. So if I push, I just push over, he doesn't make it. You can't jump then. Well, up is jump, so I can, can't I can jump from here. But you he, can't jump over. But he you catches like onto it. Yeah, I see. So he can't do that. Mm. Oh my god! And if I touch anything, I'm Jump dead. before the up pipe? I don't know if you can. No, he grabs onto it. Oh, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. So if I go... No, no you get too, too close, you pre it actually climbs. So I have to press... No. no. You have to be further away than that. Yeah, <sighs> there. So close. No, maybe not. I don't know how else you would do it. Am I dead? Oh my god. Oh, now I have one hit point. I bet I can't kill this guy. No. Come on, come on. Kicked him multiple times. Blame the eight way. Yeah, that's what I, I do. I do. <laughs> do blame the eight way. Hi. This is not an eight. Well, this is an eight-way game, so you wouldn't want to have a four-way joystick. Because you want to move and jump at the same time. With a four-way, you wouldn't be able to. Okay. Is there anything I'm to the right just there? Gonna die. Just go to the right. Go past it. There you no, go. No, I had one hit point left. I couldn't. Get oh past no, it. no. But I mean, maybe you can get past that. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna go to the next. Um, the next section. one. To see it? Yeah. He's so pretty. Oh, I didn't beat him. He really wants more treats, this cat. Oh, he's gonna get some in a bit. More treats? We'll get you some more treats. In a bit. He's like, I'm gonna beat that sprite cat. It's the last thing I ever do. Hey, okay, hmm? let's check out the second level. See if it's any easier. Now Tari is campaigning for a rematch. Yeah, he is. I demand a rematch. Yeah, yes. Maybe after this game. Yeah. We'll see if somebody wants to give you treats. They're getting hidden uh, bombs or weapons. Can't quite fly. I know he's got a cape. Flies a little bit. So should I go up here and say hello? Nope. <laughs> okay. Ah, can I kick this guy? Some few things you can kill, some things you can't. Or some things that you need like a bomb. Like, whoa, oh. that was cool. That was C? Yeah. Ah, it's Bruce Lee. Oh. He's kicking oh it? Ah, oh, you got him. Slow going. Everything is deadly in this game. And hard to hit. Oh, I made it. Okay, kick, kick, kick you. I kick you. Probably one of those things I can't can't get. No, nope, just Have to jump over him. Oh, I didn't get hit. That's something. Got a bomb, I got a bomb though. Bomb. Or bombs. Oh my god! Oh, <gasps> so many things that can kill you in this game. Everything. Ah! Oh, he came up. No, he's following me. Oh. This game is so hard. It's hard. Okay, we're gonna go to the third third level now. Paltry 600 points. <laughs> Do you want to play Atari? Death for Origami, yes. Mm -hmm. The deadly crane got me. Yeah. It's more like a duck to me. But... Used to be really into origami when I was a kid. Oh, I, I was too. There was this time period I where origami stacks was... Stacks of rice paper oh, with yeah? all different colors. Uh, and I got books and origami. I, I remember ah, having the books. death immediately. Meet it, death. Immediate oh, food. That's good. Um, yeah, I mean, you used to find the little books, and they'd come with pa with paper little too. Stuff. Yes. Yeah, you get I, I love those, books. and and you could get yeah. Those were that was a lot of fun. Ah, no. Always a pattern. Hummingbird. I mean, how lethal can a hummingbird be? Let's let's face oh. it. Oh, oh, that's cute, Marky. There is no rule of what... Oh, some things do die from a lot of hits. Oh, you can't kick while you're on the ladder. Up, 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 up. Oh, there's bombs there. Where? At the bottom? Bottom. 
Do you have bombs? Jump, fly. Oh, oh, those hurt me. Kind of. Yeah. Depending. Well, there's two of them. I'm going to use my clear the screen thing. Done. Tried. I <laughs> tried to get the alligator. Yeah, alligator's permanent, like, I guess. No. You can't climb up that ladder. Look at this. You hit a wall there. But you can jump up and then climb up the ladder. Mm. Legal oh, paper cuts. <laughs> ah, that must have been what happened. Cyrano, did I mention this game is difficult? Sorry, it's, must uh, have forgot. <laughs> I'm getting more, oh my god, more used to how hard it is. Yeah, I like, think when you get you used to, to the movement, cautious. yeah. Above this. You have to be more cautious. That's a lot of mean hummingbirds. Usually they're so sweet. I'm go there. Hang out there. Oh, no, not hang out there. It didn't give me, oh, he's going to shoot something. Ah, uh, run. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, take the opportunity now. Oh, there's some some worms, worms. down there. Watch out for that. Go, 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 go. Ah! Uh. Oh, oh, I was trying to jump. That was not worth it. Uh, well, kind of. No. Good but scratchy music. Oh, that guy wants to kill me yeah. so badly. Oh, no. Stay up there. Don't go down. Yeah, do not go down. <laughs> Fall down. No! You're silly! No, he's coming for you now! Ah, uh, gun! Oh, my God. Okay, I have to kill this guy. Oh. Those guys, oh my god, they're moving faster! How? Run! Because there's less things on the screen. There's no scrolling happening, that's why. Oh my goodness. Oh. Yeah. No, 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 no! What are you doing? Oh, you're not gonna have any left. Oh, oh my goodness. That's <laughs> so hard! Brutal. No, they are mean, oh. and you must kick them like everything else. <laughs> kick them. Kick them hard. Oh, I still didn't beat whatever his name was. Andy. 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 <laughs> but despite all the craziness, Atari Age Day is still Sunday. Yes. Still coming we're up. Still, we're still doing it. Yep. Seven to eight hours of madness. Mm -hmm. Unboxing, talking with developers, all that stuff. Lots of game playing. Woo. Talking with Cyrano. Yes. Maybe. Hopefully. Maybe, maybe these cats will make an appearance too. You never oh, know. they will. Will you make an appearance? Any hidden bombs in here? Oh no. my goodness. Snow level. I think he wants more treats, this kitten. Oh, random movements. Great. I predict many a rage quit from this game. Ah, oh. uh, he's following me. Oh my god. Oh, mean lumberjacks. Oh, he throws it. Oh my god. Oh, it's so brutal. Oh, what? Flying puffins. When did I get that? And you can't kill that one. No rules. All memorization. And I couldn't hop over him. I mean, that snowman for sure this is, is going to kill you. 80s oh. hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was something. Help? Uh, I guess so. It's hard to tell what is going to help you and what is going to kill you in this game. <laughs> ah! Like those it puffins. Really is. Those puffins shouldn't kill you. They're very sweet looking. But no. I don't think you kill the birds. The birds never yeah. seem to die. Oh, Santa with a mean missile. Santa. Although it is Christmas themed, so that's cool. Oh, that's true. Maybe we should play this level on our Christmas show. <sighs> what? No. I oh, thought... ice cream. Oh. Oh. Did that give me anything? 
Now am I supposed to hop on that? Yes. I don't know what else you would do. And dead. Oh, almost dead. That didn't give me anything. No, just oh, points. Oh, it's slidey. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, one hit point left. Great. Sure, no. When I said I finish it, I may have just been cheating. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. This is brutal. Brutal. Hi. Iceland. Hi. Is it Iceland or Iceland? It's all one word Iceland. together. Oh, we'll put Country in that Country of score. Iceland. Um, looks really nice. Mm -hmm. It is for the hardcore. So if you are a hardcore platformer that loved, um, let's say the European platformers in the 80s. Oh, yeah. Where it's pixel perfect hard. Oh, it didn't even beat Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Andy and Terry. Oh, this is. Yeah. Did? Yeah. Did it snap? No. How? I'm gonna have to unscrew it. Oh no! Yeah, it's all off kilter. Shifted? Yeah, see that? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, no. It'll survive to the end of the show. I love you <laughs> kicking <laughs> things. This it's is for, for you. you. Yeah, it's kick, all kick, kick. about the kick, kicking. Kick, 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 kick. Okay, uh, let's get to our third game, which is third. A, a fourth game. Fourth which is game. A mystery mystery game. game. Now, our fourth game was just passed to me hours ago. Um, it is by Sporadic by Rick Day. Mm. Uh, uh, by Sporadic. No, who's Rick, oh, Rick we Day. need some treats. But before Thank that, you, here, pass it over okay, to me. Yeah. Are you, okay. Get it out of the way. Yeah. Yeah? It's treat what? time for cats. Yes, kitties. Let's set up the predictor. All right. Round two. Fight. Will Atari have revenge? Let's start up the prediction. Thank you, 8-Bit Poet. Yeah, thank you so much. The kitties, thank you. Yeah, they're very happy about oh, this. Oh, Sprite and Atari. There we go. Ready for round two. Reset the scores. Is Atari gonna get his own back and beat his younger brother now if you stop batting away the treats and you eat them just a little bit faster not waste time trying to protect them from sprite sprite <laughs> <laughs> and sprite if you just slow down just a little bit try and breathe while you eat <laughs> Are you it okay? might even them out you okay you have yeah, hiccups? Just oh, hiccups. No. all right kitties okay kitties you got a Are minute before wait? it's time are you gonna win? Who's betting on what? Let's see. Mm. Let's switch back. See how the bets are going in. Yep. So, oh, Sprite one to two. Oh. Clear winner. Everybody's betting on Sprite one Everyone's to two. Everyone's betting on Sprite. Which gives an opportunity to somebody to sneak in and steal all the points if they bet Sprite three plus or Atari one two. Yeah. Because those are very. Those are also very likely outcome sprite yeah. one to t i would say sprite three well it's pretty even between sprite three plus and sprite one to two atari one to two you mean uh no uh in terms of oh you think how so? much sprite is winning over atari mm. i don't know maybe one to two is has a as a slight advantage oh yeah. somebody's gonna somebody oh, went sprite in for three plus okay okay yeah Let's Sprite see. three plus one person on Atari one to two. Oh no, man, it's all on Sprite. Yeah, Let's got about see. thirty seconds left. Twenty seconds. What do you think, guys? Are you ready? They don't. They Are don't even ready? know. Are you? They just eating treats. Are you ready? Are you ready? Got five seconds left before the treats. Oh, some oh, more last, last minute Sprite one to two. All okay. Right. Oh, one on off. Atari three plus two. Oh. Yeah, a little bit and, of spread there. That's good. Go. Go. Who's first? Who's going to get bell. it first? Hit the bell. Oh, Who's that? Sprite got it first. Sprite's first. Hit the bell, Atari. Hit the bell. Look at it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, Sprite again. Okay, let's let's move this right in front. There we go. Okay, try again. Try it again. Hit the bell. Good there we kitty. Go. Good kitty. My goodness. <laughs> 
Sprite in yes. the lead. Three to one. Tari sometimes just like bats at the air. There, there we go. go. Good. Oh, oh my, my God. goodness. He kicks it all around the room. Whack. <laughs> He's so afraid of Sprite getting the treat. Yeah. That he hit the bell. Defeats himself. Hit it. Oh, harder. 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 Don't look yet. Harder. Harder. Hit the bell. There, there you we go. go. It's all tied up. Wow. Really? Yeah. Sprite is distracted. He was like, where'd that treat go? I think I saw it. Hit the bell. Come on, Atari. Get Good. back in the game. There you go, Sprite. Atari. Harder. Harder. Harder, Atari. <laughs> Harder. Harder. S ha hit the bell. There, there you go. go. All tied up. 4-4. Four, four. Sprite's in a slight lead. Oh. Hit the bell. Come on, Atari. Get there back in the game. Come on. You're not Good. far behind. Good. There you go. It's 5-5. Five, five, not far behind. My voice is cracking. Oh, no. Going through puberty again. Again. I know. That's terrible. Oh, oh he's in the lead. Atari is in the lead. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. What is happening here? Hit the bell. He does need coaching. <laughs> he's not hitting it. Oh, that oh, was... Atari by Atari. two. Said by oh, two. Oh, my goodness. There you go. There go. Oh, my kittens. <laughs> Come on, Atari. Go ahead. One more. Get it. Harder. Harder. There, there you go. go. Oh, Sprite caught it. Here. No. Here. No, Sprite got it. I know. I but know. But if you didn't give it to Atari, Atari would have gone again. There you go. Oh. Hit the bell. Slowed Atari there you go, down. Atari. Game point for Game Atari. Game point for Atari. Nine to seven. Oh, He's done my it. goodness. By three! By three! <laughs> Who someone won big? Oh my All god! Right. Extras! Is... There you go! Totally oh no! <laughs> out of left so who field! Put ten! <gasps> who put ten? Who put ten on Atari? On Atari! Plus? Game Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Gamer. <laughs> who did it? Who did it? Oh, let's see. Who's the big, big winner? Wow, that is crazy. That that came out of nowhere. Gamer composer, yeah, finally Atari. I really didn't think that was going to happen. Vitoko! Oh, yeah! Wow, wow. congratulations, Vitoko. Good job, That's, me! <laughs> wow, that is crazy. I never would have thought I'd see that. Yeah, and it happens. And Sprite stole one of the treats. He did, he did. Which Atari wanted it. Sorry, would normally, right which would normally slow down Atari because you give him a treat again because he got it. Big, big win by Vitoko. 2,000 points all unshared to Vitoko. <laughs> unshared. Wow. Good job. That's an amazing job. <laughs> ah, nice. So, the third game, fourth game tonight. I don't know why I keep saying third, because there's three <laughs> games, and yeah. I think it's the last one. But a fourth bonus game yeah. is by Sporadic. This is called Crypt Raider. Now, it is... A port of a game okay which is not called crypt raider uh we're going to take a look at uh that game I'm gonna undo take off the cartridges because there is no cartridge because i was not prepared for this game it is a complete surprise uh so we're going to take a look at the original game uh that this is a port of uh -huh. and it's an amstrad cpc game originally amstrad. Okay. Uh, from 1984. Wow. Um, I was going to say, is Lara Croft in it? But anyway. <laughs> and it's called O oh Mummy. M U M M Y. Ah. Oh, I see. So, Oh Mummy is a video game for the Amstrad CPC models of home computers. Uh, it was often included in the free bundles of software that came with the computer. Ah. The gameplay is similar to that of the 1981 arcade game Amadar. The object of the game is to unveil all the treasure within each level, or pyramid, of the game whilst avoiding the mummies. Each level consists of a two-dimensional board. In contrast with Pac-Man, where the player walks around, footprints are left behind. Its content... Uh, is revealed, which is either a scroll, a mummy, or a key. A tomb are nothing at all. 
In order to complete the level, it is necessary to unveil the key and the tombstone. Mm. The scroll enables the player to eat or kill one of the mummies on the level. One, okay. If a mummy is unveiled, it follows the player to the next level. Oh, so it accumulates. The difficulty and speed of the game increases as the player progresses through the level. Wow, okay. This is so, cool, I like this. Yeah, interesting gameplay. So let's take a look at Crypt Raider. And this is an exclusive world premiere. Okay, Crypt Raider uh, by us Crypt Raider from Sporadic? Sporadic Soft. Nice. Rick Day. Okay. So he said, I decided to make Crypt Raider as a fun little coding project well between tasks on other things. It's a fun little game I've been wanting to make for a long time that's based on Oh Mummy from the Amstrad CPC computer. I spent the last few weeks on and off building it from scratch in JAG Studio. Um, the gameplay is simple. Use the D-pad to run around the crypt to reveal each of the tombs. Walk along each side. The footprints are to help you remember where you've already walked. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Uh, so C for help. Let's see what that says. Instructions. Use the D-pad to run around the crypt and reveal all the tombs. Find a way, find the key and the scroll to exit. Active vampires will follow you to the uh, next crypt. Vampires. Vampires. Yes, Nothing no, to do no with the mummies. other game. No mummies. Tombs contain different items. Vampire, run away. Dagger, used to kill a vampire. Okay. Key. Should be a stake. Exit. That should be changed to a stake. Oh. It could be a wooden dagger. That's true. Uh, no, a stake. A stake would go with the vampire theme instead of. Yeah. But it's still, but it could that be works. a wooden dagger. Yeah. It, it's the same thing. Garlic. Key. Oh, yeah, garlic. <laughs> collect to exit the crypt. Scroll. Collect to exit the crypt. Treasure. Three to find for a higher score. Nice. Credits. Uh, code and sound effects. Rick Day. Character and level graphics. Chaser. Chasers Gaming. Uh, in game music. LSP Sound Engine. Roll Strauss. I oh, didn't touch it. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Just press again. And Eric D. There nice. you go. Now you can press, press B. Um, so I think you know the gameplay. So if you want to start it up, start it up. So there we go. We're walking around, and you have an empty crypt to begin with. This is. So you have five lives on crypt one. Very low volume, like super, super, super low. So you definitely could crank the volume up. Even in comparison to the other games we played, which are also very low. Oh, revealed one. That's a dagger. That's a good one to have. Mm -hmm. So that, I'm guessing you just run into them to kill them. Yeah, that Gold one. bar. So that's points. You get you need three of them. It's actually a good tactic to reveal two at a time. Okay, scroll. Key, scroll, I can leave, but I can... Oh, you can't? No, you need the, the oh. scroll and the key? That was a scroll and the key. Okay. Oh. Not, oh, there he comes out. It takes a second. Okay. So now he c continues on, but you do have a dagger. So obviously you don't do want to... Do I? Or do I, did I lose it when I upped no. the level? Oh, uh, it didn't specify... Avoid any vampires you have revealed unless you have a dagger. The dagger can be used once in a level to kill one vampire. So it's best... Now you have a dagger, so I would use it. Because it says it can be used once in a level. And that implies it doesn't carry over. So it's best to kill the vampire on the level before you even transition to the next level. Is what I'm thinking. Um, to use the dagger, you just walk into the vampire. Any active vampires will follow you to the next crypt. Please note this is still a work in progress, so bugs might happen. However, functionally, everything is in the game except pause, which I just remembered I missed out. <laughs> which is fine. Generally, don't use pause because we're playing live. 
Oh, blue. vampire! And you have no dagger right now. It's okay. Get out of here. Yeah. So thank you so much, uh, Rick, for letting us play and premiere your show, uh, the game on the show. Oh, he's fast. He's, he's faster, faster than you. Faster than normal. He's faster than you. You better stay far away from him. But he doesn't go right for you, so that's good. It's kind of random. He looks kind of random. Randomish. Yeah. He even saw you and didn't go for you. No. That's that's good because he's faster than you and it'd be death immediately. So there's treasure, which is just you just get treasure, you get points. And it doesn't show the whole screen at once, unlike the original game, which makes it a little bit harder because you can't see exactly where the vampires are. Which is good that they move randomly. Hey! Definitely. Oh, oh my no. god! Uh, kill one and exit immediately. Uh, don't die. Good stuff. I guess it gets. It the, just. The, you, you, you're gonna. The difficulty gonna, ramps up when unless you, get too you many don't vampires. reveal a vampire, you're gonna gain a vampire every round, right? Because you're gonna get one dagger and then you're gonna get a vampire somewhere. Yeah. So unless you. Unless you find what you need early and just escape you're gonna That's get a vampire best but to just I don't find know. the key and get the but if you release a vampire then you're gonna want the dagger to kill the vampire i don't know yeah if you reveal another vampire you probably want to keep playing till you get a dagger like if, if i mean you you missed oh that was very risky yeah they don't go for you though no which is at all thing. oh no i'm in trouble um but, I mean, you missed one vampire on the first level that could have been killed. Did I? Yeah, because you didn't kill him on the same level. Because the daggers run out. I'm assuming. We still don't have 100% confirmation. But I'm highly assuming that the daggers don't carry over. Oh my god. Yeah, you probably want to find a dagger. Uh. Oh my god, you're playing it so risky. Uh. <laughs> Oh, oh no. no! There's two. Oh no! Oh, this none of this is good. I can get out. Oh, kill one first. No. I can't. Kill one first. Oh, now you're just accumulating more vampires. I guess that's true. You always uh, I kill one You're right escaping. because. I mean, it's either that or you have two extra daggers, but it's just no chance that. Oh, oh no. this is a nightmare. Oh no. Oh, this is ridiculous. The unpredictability is good, but also bad at the same time. Because if the, if the vampires were predictable, then you can kind of game them. But this way, you don't know if one's going to turn. Ah. Oh, so lucky. Am I? No. Oh. Wow. What do you start? Right there. I wonder if there's any time delays beforehand. Now you definitely want to try and find a dagger. Uh, I don't care about the dagger. I just want to finish the level. Well, you don't have to get everything. No, I... You have to get the scroll and the key, right? Is that the yeah. two things you have to get? You haven't got the scroll yet. Oh, oh no. dear God. <laughs> I wonder what I there's leave. a maximum vampires or not. So you just need the key? Or did you get this? I didn't get a dagger. This is this is a nightmare. <laughs> oh, toys. Cats are bringing down toys. You need to find the scroll and the key. Oh, another vampire. Oh, <laughs> oh my no. goodness. This is hilarious. There's, there's, oh. this is, I'm just oh, no. dead. Yeah, this is really hard now. Yeah. That's really funny. Yeah, I don't know if the game checks to see, oh, if there's a vampire near you before it spawns you back on the board. It does. It doesn't seem to spawn you immediately, but... Yeah, so it might do a check. It's like, with vampires within X or this block, then don't spawn yet. Wait till it moves out of the way. So you could have had two less vampires two daggers uses. Oh, 
wonderful. Uh, I ain't got the key, so head on out. Do I have the scroll? Yep. I do. Scroll beside the key. Oh no. Oh, it's getting crowded. Oh. Get really crowded. It's the worst Bring your toy in here. He has a little jingle ball he likes to Does play he? around Is with. Is he playing with that right now? I heard him bring it down the stairs, but he didn't bring it in. No! Oh. This is not better. This is way worse. Key. Whoa. Oh, no. So many vampires. <laughs> Very generous with lives, though. Oh, it does do a check. Excellent. Okay. That answers that question. Uh, it had to. Yeah. Otherwise, There's it would no be way. super unfair. Yeah. But it is very... It's an early build, so it's like he may not have encountered that issue. Oh. No, two yeah. lives left. One life left. Is it the life you have, or is it the life in reserve? Uh, you know which one is dead. the right way. No, dead. Oh, I did it the wrong way. <laughs> that includes the life you have. <laughs> what is this game? Crypt Raider. Crypt Raider. Very nice. Okay, my turn. So, I think it's best to, like, go all the way around the edge. Ah. Uh. When there's sometimes, no vampires. Sometimes it's better to just go box, box, box. Because if you find what you need, you can just move on. Rather than try to get the whole... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the better tactic is. This way will reveal two at a time. I don't know sure. if that's beneficial. <laughs> sure. I do like the game Amadar a lot, Amadar. Um, which is very, very similar to this. Mm. Oh, no, that's not doing two, two at a time. Mm -hmm. The next one will. And there's a sword. Okay. Oh, this doesn't do two nope. at a time. get him. You've got the sword. Hey, come back here. That's me chasing you. Oh, he's at the exact same speed right now. I'll get you later. Okay, now... Oh, i got to outwit you. Nope. There we go. Good job. <sighs> Good music? Good graphics? Mm-hmm. Now I don't have to contend with one. Oh, actually, if I do this and then, oh no, no no and then this then this <laughs> then it does two at a time well then you yeah it just goes blink 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 and the first blink, thing you reveal blink is vampires. Blink. And you only have to do this. Blink. That one won't go though. So I've got the key and the scroll, and I will not reveal any more because then I have another clear board. Come back here. <laughs> I'll never catch up. Okay. No! <gasps> oh, silly. Mm. Boo! <laughs> That's not my pattern, man. Stop messing up my pattern. Hopefully I can get the dagger and the key and the scroll before I find another vampire. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. Because there's like two on these levels when you get two? Oh, yeah. God. So that's why they increase so quickly. Oh, it's not open. 
Right to Because you don't oh, have the I, other, I had to go the down middle the middle. One. That's right. Do the second. Oh, it doesn't matter. Well, there's oh, a dagger. dagger. Don't have the key yet. Or the, there's the scroll. You need a key. Just need a key. Nope. Nope. No, oh, you, no, you can. Oh, oh no! Kill one, one of them. Kill one of them. There you go. Uh, now I'm you stuck can leave. With two vampires. Yep, that's how it works. <sighs> this is the most efficient way. <laughs> of clearing the board. Up, down, and then through the middle. Hey, he turned around. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Didn't know they could turn around. Yep, oh, God. Turn. Oh, that's dumb. okay. One dumb, life. Dumb, dumb, dumb. One dumb. life. It's cute. I like this game. It's very cute. So down the middle. If yeah. you can. Down the middle. Ah. If you can do it. Yeah. yeah what? Baby cat. Do you like this game? He's like, I'm lost. Oh. Sword? Oh. oh, no. I'm not ahead now. I'm going, getting behind. Another oh, one. very behind. You can kill one. Yeah. Can I get out? Did I get the key? Not no. yet. Kill him. Kill him. Just kill him. Doesn't matter just, which one you kill. Just kill him. Now would, it's only there was one... no point in, in not getting the rest of it because you've already revealed all the vampires. Okay. So it is once, there more once than you've one released, dagger, though? There's only one level? dagger. Well, then I guess there's... You can just get what's left. But yeah. I, I don't think... I think once you've revealed two... I haven't seen a level with more than two. Because I think if, if there were, it would just be over very quickly if there were three. Yeah. Now there's vampires everywhere and I can't really do my pattern very easily. No, that's fine. They're making trouble. It's fun. It's puzzly. Yeah, it, puzzly it's in puzzly. a way. It's simple. I, I messed up when I played. You know, so. releasing. Oh, oh no! God. It gets I think out it's of inevitable. Fast. Like really, it's inevitable. Based on two vampires to one, oh, three, vampires. three vampires. See, I didn't. I didn't. I was wrong. There was three. <laughs> is there Scroll. more than one sword? Maybe I'm gonna open. The I don't whole think thing so. Because there's no. I others. don't think there is. I did, I never saw two swords. Oh, it's bad. It's bad news. It's an infestation. Yep. They keep multiplying those vampires. Uh, keep biting humans. There you go. Can kill one. Don't forget to kill one. You want to kill one? There you go. One, one, one dagger. One out of three, th two gained, basically. Yeah, one dagger, three vampires. Harder and harder and harder. And I think, I mean, that is the point. Yeah. Because there's nothing else in, yeah, they're still pacing me. So there's nothing else in the game that gets harder except yeah. the number of vampires. So it makes sense to increase the vampires yeah. as time goes on. And not give as many daggers as there are vampires. It might be randomized. We know the vampires are randomized because there's three. I don't know. Yeah. At least three you can get maximum. Maybe it goes to the whole board of vampires. <laughs> Just all vampires and no daggers. And, and two of them happen to be a scroll and a key. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah. yeah, you can leave. Unless you want to get a I dagger. Do. There's no so way. got a lot of them now. There's not going to be more, I don't think. Oh, <gasps> there is more. Three vampires? Four? How many did you release? Uh, too many. Like three? Th one, two, three. Yeah, three. Three, three dead that I can see. No. <laughs> oh my god. Any? No, da no dagger? It's got to be a dagger in... Oh my god. It's brutal. There you go. You can kill one Who of them. Who will die? Will it be you? No. Will it be you? Yes. You turned around and said yes. Oof. Just 
made it in. Oof. Revealing all the crypts gives you points when you find treasure. Oh, it okay. does, yes. That definitely does up your score. If you're going for points. This Love it when you have so many vampires that it, it just pauses for like 10 minutes at the start of the game. Because <laughs> Cause you can't start. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> Uh, I can't turn. He was too close behind me. Mm -hmm. Second so Pac-Man. Nope. Nope. Can't start. Nope. Can't start. Nope. Nope. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's going to get bad. No. No, it's brutal. No. 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 <laughs> oh, my God. Don't follow me. Oh, it's two underneath each other. No! <gasps> oh, no, I couldn't have escaped that one. We were uh, lying in bed last night go trying to go to sleep. Yeah. And there was this crazy noise. And the two, oh. the two of us just started laughing because we realized one of the cats, you know, our, our cats have one of the, one, it's like a plastic stick with a, like a, uh, what rainbow. would you call it? Like a rainbow fleece snake on the end and you play with it. <sighs> And one of them had pulled it out of their trunk of toys and was dragging it across the floor. So it was like... And we're like, are what the is cats moving furniture? Like, what's going on up there? It was so funny. It was so, so funny. 10,430. Good yep. job. Zombie vampires, clearly. Why do those yep. vampires walk like mummy zombies? Now, which would come first? Well, it would have to be, you'd have to be a mummy, then bit by a vampire. You're going to play? No, do you want me to play? Yeah. I, thought, I thought we were stopping, nope. that's why. One more game each. Yeah, I'll play another, I'll play another game. That's um, a level seven? What did I get to? Seven? Crypt seven. You'd have to be a mummy that was bit by a vampire, but mummies don't have blood. No, you could just be a vampire. And you just happen to be like an this. Egypt, uh, Egyptian vampire? Egyptian vampire. Well, he could be a vampire zombie. No. He likes the, the taste of blood. But know. zombies are people... Things that were dead brought back to life. Mm. And so were vampires in a way as well, depending on the lore. So I don't, there's no way to cross over a mummy and a vampire. Or zombie and a vampire. If you're a vampire zombie, you get a drink and a meal from a person. <laughs> That's true. It's very efficient. Oh, just have to get it. Don't get a, don't get a vampire. You can exit out. Oh, no. It's okay. I kill will him. kill you. Don't mess up like I did. I will kill you. I guess that dagger is silver, because definitely not wood, as is portrayed, because oh. silver is also... Um, traditionally good against evil at least werewolves well, you haven't you don't hear too much about silver and vampires but <laughs> Cyrano says is that a vampire should I kick him <laughs> <laughs> should I kick, kick him? him kick should him. I kick that old man <laughs> you haven't tried the buttons maybe you can kick them kick 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 him. Kick, 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 kick. no <laughs> no there's no kicking didn't work Gold! Vampire! Oh, you got the scroll. Just need the key. And no vampires. That exit. Exit. Yes. No vampires. Level three. It is a game of luck. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, I mean, it, it just randomly reveals you stuff, You will right? accumulate vampires. Like that oh, level where you got yeah, it three got of them, you're just going to get vampires. Yeah, it's too much. It's too much. Too many <laughs> vampires, too many. What point do you just say, I'm out of here. This isn't worth it. And they're not nice vampires like what we do in the shadows. Oh, I love that show. <laughs> Funny, comedic vampires. Anyone? Any fans of any what fans? we do in the shadows? Yeah. We're it's fans. Great. Well, great I'm a half fan. Well, I like it more than you do. You yeah. love Colin, though. Oh. The energy vampire is fantastic. So good. 
Yeah, no but, whammies, no whammies, no whammies. <laughs> but I can understand Colin, like you oh, can't be- Oh, it's open a... already. <gasps> do should it? I just go? Yes, 100%. 100%. I, but my score is not great. I mean, do you care about score? Or do you care about well, the number of crypts you get through? If you're going for score, you'd want to unveil all of them. True. Do you get points for unveiling ones that have nothing in them? No. You just, just get them for okay. stuff. I go for levels. I mean, I'd go for everything if I re revealed everything. I might as well do it all. But if I can get to the next level without a vampire, it yeah. sounds like a good deal to me. Should be about how many levels can you get to without vampires? Uh, Cyrano, are um, New Zealand productions um, like really enjoyed and, and really well known in Australia? Like what we do in the shadows? No. Oh no, two of them. Oh. You don't have the key yet, do you? I have everything. Oh, no. Just need to kill one of these guys. Come come back to me. Like Taiku ah. Watiti, Watiti stuff. There we go. Ah. Obviously, Peter Jackson's very well known, so he doesn't really count anymore. <laughs> I would assume so. I mean, I think yeah. a lot of people do know his work. He says, I mean, Jane and the Dragon is awesome. Not familiar with that. Are you gonna chase me? <laughs> mm, if he chases you, it's a purely uh, random chasing. <laughs> he's not—he's not being malicious about it. You just happen to get in his way, and he's like, "Oh, snack." Flight of the Concords. Oh, I love Flight of the Concords. Oh yeah, that was so so good. That was funny. And Thunderbirds are go. Well, I know Thunderbirds. But those originally. <gasps> you can get, 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 get that guy. Well, you can't chase him like that. Yay! But you don't have a key yet. No. So where should I go? Let's go this. Oh. No. Oh, oh no. no. Two. No, you have. Definitely two uh, vampires. I might as well get the rest now. Oh no! Oh no! I shouldn't have gotten the third one. No. Didn't even think about it. Just figured there were no more. Oh well. What uh, you gonna do? Yeah. What you gonna do? Jojo Rabbit. Yes, Jojo Rabbit. That was Rabbit. excellent. It yeah. Should be shown in schools. That's that's for sure. Um, I filmed showed at a film festival that also showed Jojo Rabbit. Yeah, did you see it there first? Uh, no, I was too busy. I almost never see films at film festivals when my films are playing. It's just it's too busy. You're doing stuff, you're talking with people. Uh, you're going to a lot of things that aren't films, like talks and stuff a lot of the time. You killed a vampire early. Oh, I had it. True, he was in your way. Um, I was hoping Taika Waititi was there. Was that would have been cool. I can leave there. now. Leave. Oh, nice. No. No. I'm. Don't get caught on the corners. <laughs> Woo. Oh, oh good night, uh, Pseudographics. Yay. Yeah, that one was great. Some thought it was too flippant, but I didn't think so. No, no. He was super serious. I thought it was very good. Very, very good. <gasps> okay, like, making Hitler, no. Hitler funny. Oh, I can leave now. People on, no. the out, on the outside, that seems no. like, oh, that's silly and flippant, but it's really not if they actually watch the film. It's from the perspective of, of a little kid who's shielded from the yeah. horrors of what's going on. That's well, what sort of, but he... he then he yeah. sees it eventually. No, it's a very good film. And, and, then, and then he understands that it's like, no, 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 this is not good. He is not a good person <laughs> because he's, he's brainwashed. And then it kind of shows how people get lured into well, thinking a certain way because they're only exposed to a certain information. And so I think it's very, very relevant. Um, no! Oh, no. That's the name uh, of the game. Mark. It just gets more and more vampires. 
You haven't died yet. That's good. Have I? No, oh, still five lives. Dead. Unless you start with six. I don't know. I think you start Okay, with five. key. Nope, still not there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Carl G, that is absolutely correct. I think it's people who didn't actually watch it. And that happens a lot. Oh, so much people passing judgment, and then it's like they say something, and you're like, you never saw I mean, this, you did didn't you? didn't actually watch it. No. <laughs> I can tell based on what you said. Yeah. You definitely did not watch what you're complaining about because that's the antithesis of what happened. Oh, <laughs> for God's sakes. <laughs> no. It's like, oh, oh really? Oh, no. Well, you're on Crypt 8, which is <sighs> pretty high up there. No. Goodness. Oh, finally. Oh, my God. God, I'm screwed. Yep. Now it's hard. Crypto. Now it's all vampires. It's like... Oops, all vampires. Yeah, exactly. 100% vampires, 100% <laughs> of the time. Yep. Oh, oh, my God. How many vampires... You know what? How many vampires... Oh. oh, my goodness. I almost dodged it. I think every level adds a new vampire. I think you might be right. Oh my gosh. I think it is. I think there's more vampires like, than anything else on this you're level. You're on Crypt 9, oh. and there's going to be nine vampires to unveil. It's not quite as smooth as Pac-Man, where you can kind of turn around really quickly and dodge right. the movement. It's a good game, though. Can you do it's diagonals pretty chaotic. and turn the corner? It's pretty chaotic. Is it eight-way? Like you can <gasps> go in a diagonal? Oh my gosh. As soon as he's that close to you. Yeah. I'm at Crypt 9. That's pretty impressive. That is very impressive. But there are an awful lot of vampires. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so many, you can't even start the game. This is insanity. No. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's almost just luck if you survive. So it's four revealed. Oh, that was an early use. I, would, uh, I wouldn't use that early. Am I dead yet? Oh, so close. Last life. I don't think a new vampire came out of the last one. Hmm. Like one that she opened oh, up. Oh, come on. There may be a max vampire. I'm going to play one you more. Think there's a max vampire? Oh, maybe I hit max vampire. That Interesting. How many were there floating around in there? It is eight way. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, it is eight-way. You can turn. All vampires all the time. Hi, kitties. Are you back? Are you proud? Are you proud of your win? <laughs> I am so proud Did of my... Did you beat your younger three plus, brother? Not just beat him. Trounced yeah. him. Yeah. Vitoko, you called it. Yeah. You could see it. You could see it in Atari's little little eyes there. His hungry he eyes. He was hungry for some treats. See, I'm backtracking. It's wasting time. Oh. Should be doing my pattern. No, this works out better because then if you get what you need, you just leave. No, I could have left. See? I, I mean, it doesn't now. matter now, but you can leave right now. There you and go. And I will because I'm going for levels. Levels. Did anyone win huge on the gamble? Vitoko did. Vitoko mm -hmm. didn't have to share his Vitoko. win at all. No. Because he bet on a rare, rare occurrence. We can definitely say now. Yeah. The, he can't that do is it. not a waste of a vote. No, but you just don't know when Natari's going to pull it out, eh? Yeah, it's rare. Super rare, but... Some days he's hungry. He was hungry. See it. smiling. See it. <laughs> See it in those little eyes. You Got wanted the, the... You wanted the treats. Oh, vampire time. Uh, you... I'll leave it for a second, just in case uh, I... Just in case you run into him. One. I've got the key, but I don't have the scroll yet. Well, there's... I don't think there's... Are there Actually, two vampires on this level? Probably not. Well, it's Probably level two. Is it one or two? So our theory is that each level adds one. It might we not be exactly one. Well, yet. you can now. Get oh, those no. last two. No, I'm not going to, because it'll add a vampire. No, I want to see if there's more vampires. You do that in your game. <laughs> okay. I'm not doing it in my game. Yeah. With the minimum bet, too, Vitoko. Yes, put, with the Put 10. the minimum bets. Good job. Great play. Hi, Fluffy Cat. Yeah. You're proud, I can tell. He's <laughs> so happy. He's so happy. Well, I added some new icons. <laughs> Max Vapar stars once more. 
in the blockbuster <laughs> summer Vampire. event. It's Max Vampire. Max Vampire. <laughs> you As need you've that never deep voice. Seen him before. Yeah, you need to just do a fake trailer and just call it Max Vampire. But have we reached Max Vampire? In a world. <laughs> yep. You do that very well. Well, he's he's lower than I can get. Yeah. I can get almost he's, low. Is he around anymore? Did no, he the original he guy. The original guy. Yeah. He died about five to ten years ago. Was it ten? Well, okay. Maybe five. Uh, Two. Uh, Two. Uh, oh. Back. Get him. I still need the scroll. There you go. You can and leave now. And done. Uh, I've up to one vampire. It's on its way now. Where vampires rule. <laughs> Only one man can take him down. It's Max Vampire. Half human, <laughs> half vampire. He walks in the day. That's too much like uh, Blade. Blade. <laughs> the vampires look a bit like Steven Seagal. <laughs> oh no, with the slicked back black hair. With the ponytail. The ponytail. Poor limp ponytail sticking out <laughs> of the back of the neck. Okay. They can act better than Seagull, though. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we're casting Max Vampire. Exactly. Uh, Maybe Nicolas Cage. He's, oh, he's played Nick a vampire yeah. in a... No, he didn't play a vampire. Yeah, did he did. He, in a trailer. Uh, no, fake but, trailer. No, but he played a vampire. There was one where he plays a vampire and um, that other actor... Oh, gosh. It's plays funny. his, like, lackey. I didn't. I never saw oh, it. I, it looked good. Yes, it I can't remember good. the name. I just looked funny. And I like that younger actor, but again... Right. It's gone right over my head. I can't remember. No, there's so many vampires wrong. But I'm on Crypt 5 and I'm not doing too bad for no. vampires. What did I hit? 9. 9 got out of control. Oh, phew, yeah. Keep the population. Keep your vampires really spayed vampire. and neutered. Yeah. Control Keep. the vampire population. <laughs> control. Um, yeah, Carrie Ann Moss was in a good vampire movie I saw years ago. Really? Yeah, with uh, Billy Connolly, who plays... Uh, not a vampire, sorry. That's zombies. Zombies. She has like a, a zombie... zombie film? In her basement. What? Oh god. Really? And he he ends up saving her. Oh, I I just it was such a long time such a long time ago. And it was in the, like the nineties. Yeah, was I it saw good? it at a film festival. I think I I liked it at the the time. I don't think it got great reviews, but I remember enjoying it. Uh, Renfield, that's the movie uh, with Nick, yes, Cage. Nick Cage. Yeah, Renfield looked it looked interesting. Looked Again, interesting. I don't think it got like super high. Ratings, but oh, that's still look good. Uh, well, we'll find out maybe. Oh, there's one. Can it was okay, it? says RC70. Can't exit yet. It looked okay. That's that was sort of my feeling. Yeah. It was one one of those movies where it's appropriate for Nick Cage to do it. Yeah. yeah. Um, if I still watched TV and it came on TV, I'd probably watch it. But that doesn't happen anymore. You have oh. to actually pick something. Or you accidentally run across it. Yeah, yeah. I kind of miss that about. You get too lazy. To TV watching is like you, the you 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 stumble across a movie and end up watching it. Where I find with streaming, I don't do that. I don't just like pick stuff. I always feel overwhelmed and there, I never end up watching anything. There so. is a randomized feature on Netflix. Oh, is it still there? I used to watch. I used to put it on. It would just randomly play TV there. or randomly start movies or whatever. It's still there. But I don't know. It just, it's not the same. Dagger. I've it's got the, the dagger. Uh, I need the scroll on the key. We did watch Squid Games. Oh, yeah, I think we talked about that Did you time. talk about that? Yeah. Oh, no, we did. Last we stream. We did? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we Squid did. Squid anyway, Games Challenger. We did finish watching it. Yeah, it was good. Because it finished. Uh, very that. Quite quite decent. Uh, I'm looking forward to the second season of Physical 100. If they ever... Yeah, they, 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 did, they did it. say they're making one. Yep. I really enjoyed that. That was a good... Uh, good Interestingly, series. yesterday, yep. Netflix released... It's viewing hours for every single show. Viewing hours? That it hosts, yeah. Every show? Every show for what? the first half Were of this year. Were they forced into doing that? 
Because uh, they never gave away their metrics. No, they never did. Like, um, I'm surprised. That I seemed think... to be a closely guarded secret as yes. far as... Oh, because yeah. they don't want people to know how much they should be asking Netflix That's right. for. It's like, oh, we made this and we got so, this many hours. Now people can, like, ooh, tablet. actively oh, no. compare it. Can you get out? What is that tablet -y thing? Uh, I can't get out again. I killed that part too. Good. Um, I think it came out of the strikes. I don't know if they... I don't think they were forced to do it, but they're like, maybe we better do something. <laughs> Be proactive about it, rather than reactive. Yeah. But I am not 100% sure that it wasn't part of the whole thing. Yeah. But they didn't mention it. Obviously, they wouldn't mention it in the press release. They're just like, we want to be transparent, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you could have been transparent off, for the last 20 years. Yeah. But oh, no. Or suddenly we want to be transparent. Wow. What brought <laughs> this on? So surprising. A little salty, a little salty. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, I had a You did dagger. have, we had one. <gasps> but I could have yeah. saved myself. Cyrus has got a lot of respect for Nick Cage doing all those bad movies. <laughs> he did them for a very good reason. <laughs> did he? Did he? For what reason is that? <laughs> money? Are you thinking of Bruce Willis? Bruce Willis. Because he needed the of. money. He needed. And well, he well no he, he didn't also need the money. But he really wanted to uh, give the money to his family. His family. Because he yeah. wouldn't be able to act anymore yeah. after that. Yeah. Oh, he's working off his debts and uh, debts off. And rehab. Oh, oh okay. okay. Well, that is good reason. I mean, <sighs> what do I have? Do I have all actors the things? Actors be actors, you know. Good and bad movies. You can still make the best of it. I think so. <sighs> yeah, and Nick Cage has been in a lot of good movies. And he's so... he's he's a he's a great actor, even in a bad movie. Like how many people? <laughs> how many actors? Let's say. No, but like he's always entertaining, and that's what you want with an actor. I mean, how many actors can really say that? Yeah. You know, like. You know what? Even if it's a bad movie, I'm going to enjoy watching this actor. You know? I, sure. I just feel that way about Nick Cage. And... He's just over the top. Yeah. He's expressive. He gives it his all. He's f Yeah. He's not boring. He's, he's not boring. He's creative. I feel like, um, oh, what's his name? Who's in The Fly? Um, oh, yes. Um... Goldblum. Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum, Jeff Goldblum always hits way. it out of the park because he's well, just, he's Jeff Goldblum. He he's just, just so himself. entertaining though. He's such an entertaining actor. There's too many. Yeah. There's too many vampires. Oh, yeah. I gotta kill one. Ava put. He's a living meme, meme, and I mean that in a good way. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh it's god. It's not easy. Damn it. To be interesting, I think. No. I I, I really don't think it's easy to be interesting. No, so. in whatever you do. You in just, whatever you the do. The cadence of the way he talks yeah. is just so different. Yeah. Even if you go back to his first movie, I can't remember we were watching some Raising, Raising Arizona? No, no, no. It was some movie that nobody oh. really cares about. Um, Not Goldblum, you mean? Yeah, Goldblum. Oh, Goldblum. Okay. He was like in a small scene in a party or something, and he's the same as he is now. He's just quirky. Yeah. He's like, same he's like Crispin Glover. <laughs> he is. Yeah, Crispin Glover he too. He is who he is. Oh, uh, Crip 9 is brutal. We were watching on YouTube. Now we're just talking about YouTube videos we're watching. I, I love this. Um, oh which was all about... This This is the end. Yeah, I, nine level. is where I hit, yeah. Uh, the Fugitive. And how that movie, they just tried to script it and power it out. And they filmed it without a script. Yeah. And... Um, Crypt 9... Good is job. where it stops. Where it stops. <laughs> if you can make it to Crypt Ten, yeah. you got lucky. Vampire Vampire Max stops here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Max Steven Seagal's. Yes, yeah. we have. <laughs> oh. um, fun game. Excellent game. Uh, it uh, ramps up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Level eight, and nine. Woof. Oh, woo. brutal. Really rough. Um, very fun. Very fun game. I think mm -hmm. people are are really gonna like this game. We didn't encounter any bugs. I. It's good to go. <laughs> I don't know. It's perfect. It works really well. Yeah. It's really fun. I could play it for a long time. It definitely ramps up in intensity yeah. as you get through the crypts and like I... all the vampires, all the Steven Seagals. <laughs> it does make you want to try and get to level 10. It's like, oh, I think I can make it to yeah. level 10. If I just plan it a bit better and make sure I get the right daggers and 
don't open too many of them. Yeah. Um, so let's see what's coming up on the show before our break. Got um, a few big shows yeah. well, coming up. They're all big shows now. All big shows right to the end. Yeah. So the next show is going to be on Friday. I don't know the time. Don't take that as gospel. It's okay. definitely not at 1 p.m. Not at 1 p.m. It's going to be after 1 p.m. Okay. Uh, where we unbox Elevator Agent and Turbo Arcade. Yay. And we have John Champo live Yay. on the show to talk about lots of things. Nice. Let's get your questions ready for John Champo. Yep. Um, and then on Sunday, we have Atari Age Day 2023, where we'll be talking with tons of developers so and Al Russo off the top and unboxing all the new games from Atari Age. Nice. So very exciting day that day. And then on the Tuesday at, oh, is that Tuesday? That's 17 and 19. I think that's incorrect. Oh, no, that's right. Yeah, 19th. Oh, yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, 19th, we have Muddy Vision's secret new Yay! game. Exclusive world premiere of that for the Atari 7800. Yep. Who knows what it could be? Nobody knows. <laughs> we'll find out on Tuesday. And we'll be playing some uh, holiday games. At least one. Mm -hmm. uh, don't know what else I'll add to that. Um, maybe one more game. Um we could play the fourth level of uh, Impossible because <laughs> that's a Christmas level. Yes, See, it I, is. There, I, there's I wouldn't some mind doing murder that, Santas in there. That's that we could do that. We could we could throw get that in there at the end. Yeah, yeah, that would be pretty fun. Yeah. That's definitely that's a, a hard challenge. game, but yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool. I might add Impossible level four. Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, Got a plan. And then we go on a holiday break, and uh, then we do a New Year's Eve special on the thirty first. Yep. Plan. I don't know. We're just well, gonna play. Well, we just play fun games. Came up with um, just trying to get further levels in yeah. games we've started. That might be fun. Yeah. Just, just to hang out. Yeah. Count it down. Count down the year. Yeah. Ring out uh, 2023. Yeah, I'm sure we can come some up gaming. with some good theme to go on. Or... Some New Year's themed video games. Yeah. There aren't zero. <laughs> there are zero. Not New Year's themed, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know how you could do that. Race against the clock. Race Against Midnight maybe, to the New Year. Maybe, A Y2K game. <laughs> there are no Y2K games. That's the problem. <laughs> you need a Y2K, a Y2K game where you have to debug all the computers. <laughs> Can it be like Impossible Mission? Yes. where Where you have to search and debug every every workstation? Like mm. all with all the original like CRT That's desktop right. computers, all CRTs. and you just got to debug them all before and, before the clock runs out. And to out. debug each computer is a tiny mini game. Okay. <laughs> and you have to complete a grid of these computers. Nice, nice. Before the clock runs out. Yeah. I like it. Somebody can do it. Yeah. That's that's a last chance entry for 2023. Yeah. Exactly. You have uh, two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> to get. How that about in. you just make it a matching game? You have to run around and vampires chase you. So Steven Seagal chases you around the computer workstations and then you have to click them and then you have to match them. Yeah. That'd be a simple game to make, yes. That, that it's would going be crazy. Oh my God. Look at all the things. Who did all that? Woo. I don't know. What happened? Woo. Cyrano did it. Oh, uh, I don't know. He, he put up one and it, it, it triggered a whole thing. Oh, someone followed. Yeah, why didn't it? Oh, why oh, didn't Oh, I it? didn't see that. Oh, the volume turned down. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Vectrexian. I bet you like Vectrex games. Yes, we, we do play From Vectrex time to time, games. we do play Vectrex games. Yes. We're overdue. Yes, we to are. Play them. We do so need in the new to get year, the Vectrex games We'll out. play some Vectrex games. Get the, get the camera pointed oh, at the Vectrex. And we missed Joey's Bites followed wow. 46 minutes ago. Thank oh, you no. For, Wait, so for some reason, it's not coming up on the screen if I you're the, still around. I had the volume turned down. Yeah. Or this hasn't. No, it logged in. Okay, I'm, I had the volume turned down. That's okay. Yeah, that's why. Excellent. But it did it did come up. In the okay, screen, good, sure. good. Well, thank um, you for following. Yes, thank you for following. That's why it goes nuts. It goes crazy. Yeah. Uh, for the twenty six hundred, it's more like Y two K. Yeah. <laughs> oh, perfect title, which is very nearly the ROM limit for the final. There hardware. you go. Yeah. <laughs> Fat Steven Seagal and retro. Retro Steven Seagal. Maybe oh. you could have both. Well, how, how big was he in two thousand or nineteen ninety nine? That's that's when you got to put him in. <laughs> I bet that film was called yeah. Revenge. <laughs> yeah. Revenge. Yeah. The Palm Pilot had a brilliant prank hack for Y2K where it changed to all Ys and Ks, where it switched to the oh, year 2000. Hilarious. That is funny. I did. Sorry. That is funny. I swear I had Ugh. 
did I have a Palm Pilot you in two thousand? I did have a Palm Pilot. That's cool. Um, before I never had a phones, phone. yeah, had anything in them. They were just phones. Yeah, I had a Palm Pilot to go along with my phone. Yeah, had Snake. But that's which, what was in phones. When did I? Snake. Yeah, that's all you got. <laughs> and then my first non-dumb phone, non phone, my first smartphone, in yeah. other words, was a Windows phone. I had a Windows phone, too. And it had a Wi-Fi module that I bought with it. Oh, my goodness. Which worked like trash. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I kind of liked the Windows phone. It had a lot of apps, and but it just wasn't supported. People stopped making apps for it. So Well, I bought a Windows phone on your suggestion. <laughs> Oops, sorry. And it was a beautiful phone. It had a slide-out typable keyboard. Mm. And it was yes. a lovely phone. It had absolutely no apps. It was useless. Yeah, that was the problem. It was a phone. And it it, it texted well because it was good for texting. Windows but that was CE. it. Yeah. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Anyway, I uh, love I love crappy old tech. <laughs> yeah, it's it's interesting. And the good old tech too. It's all interesting. Yeah, we watch we watch a number of streams that have that talk about old tech. I love all the old tech I streams. I mean Techmone. Oh it's fantastic. Uh what's the other one? <laughs> There's a bunch. And a lot of repairing channels. And a lot of repairs, yeah. Uh, yeah. I was in the States with a friend who had a Windows phone, and I managed to phone for a taxi, and it turned up before his phone booted. Oh, that's oh, funny. funny. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us today. Yeah, I love crappy old tech. I do. <laughs> it's just so interesting to see the evolution of technology. Oh, um, um, well, what's his face? Um, the retro gamer? No. What's What's his name? Oh, he almost never says the full name of his sh his <sighs> channel. It's like three initials. He is fantastic. Um, it's always relaxing music. Yeah, he has a calming. He has a very voice. calming voice. Uh, I always think. Let's uh, see if I can. Uh, he should be about twenty years older than he is too. Um, yes. He's such a young guy. Let's see subscriptions. Oh, there we are. No, it's down here more 406 channels i'm subscribed to you oh my god watch a lot of tv <laughs> i do um a lot of youtube uh, yeah uh nostalgia nerd the nostalgia nerd he also looks yes, at old tech but that's not who i'm thinking of no no i know who you're thinking of uh lgr lgr yes if you don't watch lgr watch lazy LGR. gamer reviews i mean he still reviews things, but he mostly looks at old tech. Old tech, know. yeah. LGR, very well known channels. Yeah. It's not like. I'm no, no, it's you not like. Yeah, exactly. You don't, you don't know. already know. Yeah. Yeah. Those are kind of the two, three channels that uh, kind of talk about old tech. Well, they do a really good job of it, too. Yep. Yeah. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us. Yes. Carl G. Cyrano, thank you so much for hooking me up with so many awesome new games. Mm -hmm. It was a fun time. Clapton Classic. Uh, LGR, like Sims and Need for Speed. Mm -hmm. And um, also, he loves Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem. And he always puts on that voice. Yeah. Uh, Gamma Dev, 8 Bit Poet, Dan ABC, um, Machine GEX, nice. um, Game or Composer, ABD Official. Xbox Live. Xbox Alive. Oh, I said Alive. Uh, Saturn RVG. Uh, lots of new names. Thanks for hanging out with us. It's Kev. Hey, Kev. On this uh, Jaguar Day. Mind Threat. Nice. Ooh, nice name. Great name. Uh, Yorgi's, Yorgi's Castle and everybody else who is lurking. Yes. And Crunch of the Clan. There you go. I used yeah. to be subbed to 2,000 channels, but I had to go through them all and clean them out and got that number down to 400. <laughs> nice. That's a lot of channels. See, here's the thing. If you subscribe to too much, then you miss half of it too like you everything just uh, kind of goes by half so of the ones i or more than half don't post anymore yeah they're like or gone post so rarely yeah. like they're really 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 old um and i subscribe to a lot of homebrew channels that they only post like new versions of their games sometimes. yes yes that's so true. super rare as well yeah so most of the ones that i have on my list are like maybe it's 20 that do heavy posting in a week yeah most don't don't one post all that much one a week or one every two weeks yeah. some one every six months yeah it's crazy some every one every two years yeah like um say homestar runner it's like once a year yeah but maybe twice. i mean i mean they 
posted tons back in the day. Yeah. I mean, they're not really very active now. I don't want to miss any. So I'm not no. unsubscribed. <laughs> like, why would you need to unsubscribe to a channel yeah. that doesn't post anything? Yeah. You want to get that one that when they do post. Yeah. Crunchy's saying the same thing. Most channels yeah. I've subbed to, they don't post anymore. I mean, I mean, people sometimes do a run of a certain type of show and then they, they move on and do other things and they drop the channel, right? Like the channel's right. still up, but they don't. They change doing yeah. to a different channel. Yeah. Um, but we're still going. We're still, <laughs> yes. They're almost six years. Yeah. Unbelievable. Um, but YouTube's been going since, um, Oh, six, 2000. Is it earlier than that? I think it might be five, five, four, at least six. Long so let's time. say, let's say five. So it's been going for like 18 years. That's insane. Um, yeah. 2005. Oh, five. Okay. Yeah. So Somewhere 18 years, almost 19. Wow. Um, wow. Yeah, long time. That makes me feel old. I just didn't join it <laughs> in the beginning because the quality was so crap. Yeah. It was like, ugh, what, what's the point? I was just yeah. hosting my own videos yeah. on my website. And so I was like, well, why would I post it there when it's garbage there and garbage when I post it too? Yeah. And then when it got to like... A critical mass, yes. More where the videos you could upload were better. Better quality, I think, you mean? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like 720 or 4, 480. Yeah. And they got up to 480. Maybe it started at 480. But, and then I started paying attention. Like, oh, okay. Now I'll upload more videos stuff. to it. Yeah. Uh, so next time you see us, we'll be on Friday. Uh, make sure you follow so mm -hmm. that you know when the show is on. Because that's it's still in, in the air. Yeah. I think that'll be solved air. tonight. And I'll post the proper time. Yeah. Um, but you can check it out on, uh, follow on Facebook or any of the social media platforms, Atari Age forums, and of course on Twitch, I'll update the times when I get the solid times and you'll be able to watch, uh, John Champo and his new games that, and we'll be unboxing exciting. those games and that's playing them. Excellent. Yeah. Anyway. So have a good night and we'll see you in two days. See yeah. you then. Bye-bye everyone.